football and soccer. I hate that shit. Alright, we're recording now. We're doing it, we're live. Oh boy. We're live. We're doing it live! Imagine we're doing it live. We could. We could have an Instagram stream. Where did you mention that? Yeah, Twitch. Twitch? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're now on Twitch officially. Officially on Twitch. We test we're doing the beta testing. Mm. We're also doing OnlyFans. You need a female. Yeah, Twitch you need a female some you know. Thank you. Appealing to the eyes. Thank you. Can you do two? Like two streams at once? No. Hi, Papa. Move this shit! <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> Let me it's finish fucking, I up. don't like bringing you along to things. You guys look like the retarded Let me little brother that you bring. Up. I like the video that it's like, uh, yeah, you, like, uh, your, your sisters can, or yeah, you can play with your friends, but you have to bring your little brother with you. And it's yeah. a video like, it's, uh, that was, uh, a German group, or, or like a soul the guy, dancing. The guy that, the guy that created that band, was the same guy that created Millie Vanilli. Really? Yeah. He was a producer, mm-hmm. or just like that's Millie Vanilli. Or, or, Bring back it? Millie Vanilli. Uh, I mean. Bring back. Uh, one of them died. That's right. I think he a few years ago killed himself. Um. Bring back Millie Vanilli and bring back Shaka Khan. Shaka Khan! Sandy Gallon. I like the name Sandy. I knew a camera guy named Sandy. Sandy. He's really cool. He's a really nice guy. I knew Not guy. was. I mean, I don't know. I, I, he, he is a nice guy. I made it sound like he died. <laughs> he, was, he was great. He was just the nicest guy he ever. He's still alive, though. Nice. <laughs> Um, I know it's Sandy, but his real name was. You turn the flash off. Hmm? Oh. <laughs> Do you want to flash off? Yes. Very dark. Well, <laughs> open up the <laughs> iOS. Yeah, but it's gonna look so blurry. It's gonna look so uh, noisy. It'll, it'll, it'll be something that us look professional. Yeah. Have little flashes like we're pop, you know, being a paparazzi. It won't be too many. Photos. It would be a little distracting though. Do it one more time. Yeah, it's so loud. It's like. <laughs> Oh, man. We have to do it in this way. What if we're like on a roll, um, like on a conversation, and then. Like, yeah, this is some jackass oh. flash that comes oh. out of nowhere. Let's see. Like, okay. Dude, Peppa, you are just all over the place, huh, girly? Look at you go. Peppa just got off of a uh, injury. Yeah? Yeah, she um, she hurt her spine. From jumping up? From jumping and running. That's exactly what happened with my other dog. She went to Maryland. She had such a great time in the grass. Yeah. Oh, and she came back just like. How did you? Was she like just very slow? Slow, didn't want to move, just stayed in the corner. That's exactly what happened with my my dog, who's also multi poo, Sammy. And Sammy, have the, she like loves to fetch, and my dad just had her out like way too long, way too long, like often playing fetch, and she just like jumped for a ball, fucked up her spine, and then like yeah, she just wasn't moving, which is weird for her. She looks terrified. Because there's this flash that's happening right now. I'm testing something out. What are you testing? The lighting in here. <laughs> Alright. I don't like you. <laughs> Take some photos. <laughs> you don't like me. <laughs> <laughs> that's a great <laughs> question. You don't, you don't like me. You just like <laughs> <laughs> That's how I look at you. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's how you look at everyone. <laughs> um, Peps. I went out. I went out last night to a um, show. Brooklyn show at uh, Our Wicked Lady. Oh yeah, tell me the story. Kind of close to kind of close to Pumps actually, but uh, we go and it's like the, it's like five bands playing in one night, and then it's like a mu- little music festival, but you know it's a Bushwick bar, so no one's really there. So we get in. It's like eight thirty, and we're there. I mean, we thought it was gonna be packed. It was like maybe twenty people in there. Um, our Wicked Lady is actually a really cool spot, but the but anyway, we go there, 
and we're like getting drinks and there's this band setting up the most bushwick looking band ever like the least singer you couldn't tell like it was a man or a girl or whatever it was like the perfect blend of like hormones just going on in this one person yeah. um and they're like set, they're like setting up they're like okay like you know they're, they're they're doing the sound testing like 15 minutes go by and like okay that's like you know the normal sound testing 15 minutes 30 minutes go by and they're still sound testing they're like is the bass sound good does the guitar sound good wait while the audience is there yeah so they didn't do this beforehand before right the, the venue even the show even started exactly so and like the, the drums sound good and the 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 person the producer who's doing the soundboard like which is right next to us because it's a pretty small venue so it's, we're all kind of it's very um, interactive I guess and this and the guy the guy on the soundboard the poor guy is just like yes you sound good yes vocals sound good yes you guys are ready to go go and they're like oh no we're just not sure and like everyone's just like it's forty five minutes play the fucking play anything play a song. And so we're just like kind of just chilling, but look at a lot of people like talking, whatever. I'm getting fed up. I'm very impatient. So I'm just like, play fucking something. The you lead, did that. Yeah. Okay. And I wasn't even that drunk. Uh huh. And the lead singer's like, all right, screw it. We're, we're leaving. We're done. And they just packed everything and left. Are you uh -huh. serious? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then how the next, much is the then show? The next band. Because, well, I mean, like. No, how much was the ticket? Oh, 23 bucks. No, but like there are other bands. Okay. So they, there's a timeline, right? So they're going till midnight. And they're already wasting 45 minutes of sound checking. That's a set. That's a, that's a set. And it's like, dude, like. What if that was their show? <laughs> <laughs> they call them sound check. The sound checks. <laughs> are we good? And then. <laughs> and show up with no, no, or, no, no, no organization. Just straight up. <laughs> Dude, I fucking, I, I was so pissed off. I was like, just play fucking something. And then the lead singer was like, all right, we're out of here. We're done. We're good. And like, I thought I was going to get kicked out because I what, can haggled them. Something? Yeah. Well, yeah. But it's Bushwick. They yeah. fucking cancel culture. See, I don't know how that works now, but I remember watching those like, when you see like the, um, the older bands from the 80s where they're talking about the Sunset Strip over there in yeah. Cali. Yeah. That you made your name by going and playing the shows. And the promoters will come and they will see how the crowd reacts. Like, obviously, the women is the biggest draw. Uh -huh. So he said, oh, my gosh, the women are here. Everyone's loving the music. Yeah. And that's why they say when a lot of those guys, when Rat got signed and this guy got signed, this guy, because they all played in the same venue. Mm -hmm. But you still had to have a level of professionalism there. Right. Like, they have to see, like, these guys got the chops. They're mm -hmm. obviously talented. Mm -hmm. But they also doing their job. You know, they're not up there. Doing a forty-five minute fucking sound check, dude. It was like, how can you get? Like, how can you think of ever getting anyone to know what you're doing? I'm just surprised the manager or like the stage manager didn't come up like, "Yo, guys, gotta figure this out because we have three more bands still waiting to play." How and you're did you pay again? Twenty-three bucks. The other bands are fine. What were the other bands? Like, what, what, like, what type of genre? The first band that I saw after they left was this like punk rock band. They were really okay. great. Called like Ice. Brick or was something. It all like punk rock? No, um, the other band after that was like kind of indie, little reggae, which is kind of cool, like reggae indie. I, I loved it. And then the last band, I think we left by that time. But so it was like a reggae indie, punk metal, punk. Yeah. And yeah. then what was the the first one? Sound check. Sound check. The sound <laughs> checks. <laughs> what yeah. was the last the one? To be? <laughs> the last one. I think the last one was going to be another indie, Bushwick band, but we were so hungry. So we walked back and got Taco Bell. It was great. But, dude, just the, the fucking fact that, like, I was the one to scream out, just fucking play something mm -hmm. for them to get off the stage. It was, I felt terrible, but also just like, why? Why would you feel Well, terrible? but I mean, I felt bad, but also looking back, I'm like, this is pissing me off. Yeah. And you paid money to see. Yeah. 45 minutes to get your shit together. It's also. Who cares? There's 20 people in the there's audience. no music playing at all. At all. So it's quiet and you just hear them just strumming oh, along. You know what really pissed me off? They started playing. They started playing the first song. And then the lead singer's like, no, 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 this isn't right. We need this and this and this. And then they go back to playing like the ambient like sound music, you know, like uh, fucking Deftones is playing in the background or something like that. Yeah. It was like, okay, you started and then it didn't sound right. And it sounded good. It sounded fucking fine. It's not a, it's not a big deal. It's a small venue. 20 people there at least so and then that's when it pissed me off that it was like right at the 30 minute mark when they were trying to get fucking started and then they're like oh no never mind never mind what was this place our wicked lady 
Oh, wicked lady. Have you ever been there before? Yes, before COVID. Um, it's cool. COVID, you need a lot of shit. Mm-hmm. Last, uh, when I went there before COVID, they actually had an open rooftop. This time they have like a, uh, this time they have a, um, almost like a greenhouse situation on the roof. It's kind of cool. Um, it was a fun night. I was looking for my phone to see the, because I had the, the ticket thing. I also don't want to blow this band out because I don't want them harassing me. What? Oh, and then we went outside maybe like an hour later to smoke cigarettes and whatnot. And uh, one of the person in the band was out there also smoking cigarettes with their friends. And I was just like, Ooh. yo, 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 I don't get beat up by bush of people. Guys are scary. Guys suck. They're so bad. So bad. Got a question for you, Will. What you want? William. What you want? Question is, who is this girl? Annabelle Hagen. <laughs> we dated for a month in mm. high school. Will dated her. Mm-hmm. Fallout. Dude. Look at that. Pregnant, too. Fork in her eye. Is she really pregnant in real life? No, oh. no, no, no. Um, but uh, sweetest girl ever. And then, Did you guys watch that show yet? Yeah. I love it. Is it good? It's so fucking good. I I I got mine downloaded on my iPad for the time <laughs> I'm going to sit down and watch it on the plane. It's not really a spoiler, but do you know what I realize? It's the same plot as Pirates of the Caribbean. So you have the girl, Lucy, who's kind of like a Keira Knightley mm-hmm. character. It's a spoiler now that you're saying other names. I'm just saying. What the fuck? For me, I haven't seen it. I'm Lucy's the main character. I didn't, I didn't know that. You're gonna okay. It's not that a spoiler. Well, now I know Lucy's the main character. You're gonna. She's like the first character you see. Actually, Walter Goggins is the first character you see. Oh great! Now I know we're gonna see Walter first. Walter Goggins is Captain Jack Sparrow, and then you have this other guy who's a knight, like the giant like knight Fallout armor. Uh-huh. He's Will Turner. It's the same plot. Am I wrong? Mm. How? You have you have this like anti hero guy who knows the wasteland better than anybody. That's Jack Sparrow, kind of mm. comparatively. You have this like cute girl venturing to the depths of hell, Kira Knightley, who was you know the the daughter of the governor who mm. goes out and becomes a pirate. Oh, that's not that's what you're saying. Yeah. And then you have the arm the brotherhood guy who is basically Will because he's a go getter, good goody two shoes. You're right. It is. Who also gets it his really is. It really is. This yeah. is it's very similar. Which honestly, mm. I never played. It's based off a video game, right? Yeah, the show, but not the mm-hmm. story that's in the show. Like the the yeah. world. It's just using the characters of that. Video no, game. it's no. none of the characters. All those characters are they made up themselves. So mm. they just just took the name from Fallout. They, well, they, they but, use but, the universe, the all universe. the things from the universe, that like the world itself. But the characters are all made up. Well, it's kind of smart because... The, Except for dog meat. The, the dog, dog meat, yeah. yeah. But it was smart because in the video game, you create your own character. Mm-hmm. And you, like, you go... You, you create your own story. Yeah. So there's no really... You don't have to follow the plot in the show at all. Mm-hmm. You know, because it's just like... Okay, so I, I don't have to play the video game no. to be like, oh... Well, no, no. Yeah. If, if I've never played the game, I'm watching the show. I mean, the show, only like, thing that, that, out, that has not. to stay consistent is just the lore itself. So, like, if, for example, if you just want the dark, the, the, the guys are called the Brotherhood, the Brotherhood of Steel, it's one of the, it gets you to call the antagonists in the story. Are they? they, they yeah, they're not really good. They, their attention, their attention, they, they want to do good, but like I said, they, they kind of remind you of, like, the Nazis. Like, they're yeah, not yeah, yeah. really good guys. But they keep those guys pretty consistent in the show. So, those are the things that you got to look out for, is, like, if you're into the lords. Because if they would have made them, like, some... Good guys, they want to save the world. Right. No, they're not. They they really yeah. to, to get their goal. They will kill anyone and everyone. Yeah, they're in order to shoot. Yeah, yeah. They don't fuck around. But That's... then, but then the goody two shoes guy, he's the only one who's like wants to do this for yeah for good. Yeah, well, they have to do that, I guess. But I mean, to me, the story is good because of the fact that it is a fish out of the water story. That's what Lucy represents. She's used to the vault. The, she grew up in the vault. The vault is a very secure little world. And to get out of that world into the wasteland, you're like, whoa, what the hell? Mm-hmm. The only difference is that when you play the game, majority of the characters who go into the vault actually understood the world before the bombs fell. They really? Were, yeah. So they're more like Goggins. They're more like the ghoul. They're more like, all right, I've seen the world before the bombs. Then they go into the vault 
Then oh. they come out, and that is a new experience. Like, this is a different world than I left. Right. That's how most of the characters are in the game. Interesting. So they know what it's like outside of the vault because they were there before that. that. Yeah. Okay. Lucy's yeah. character is straight up. Straight just, up was born yeah, in the vault. Don't know shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> No, it's yeah. I, I love like and also the soundtrack alone is great. But that's the most I've been of the listening song- to Johnny Cash yeah. for the past week. No, the most of the soundtrack is actually in the game. Like yeah. most of the songs they got was from four. The fourth one had a lot of those songs that used it. What's the song Lady Fingers by uh Albert something? It's like Yeah. Yeah, I mean yeah. That one I don't know I don't know if that was it. Was that the <clears> game? I don't sure. Uh maybe. But, but they they took a lot of the I mean they, I gotta give them credit they stuck to like a lot of what the game is yeah in terms of lore the music the atmosphere yeah. the humor yeah yeah, yeah, all yeah. There. the humor was yeah. great and it wasn't like in your face humor mm-hmm. but it was like it was yeah but if you play crazy. the game it's a little bit it's really in your face also the I felt terrible I when I first watched it I was I guess so numb to the violence like the first wedding scene of course is very mm-hmm. violent but then like. There's a lot of blood, a lot of guns and everything. And so I showed it to my parents because they, they know Annabelle well and their whole family. So I was like, you got to watch it. We'll watch it. My poor mom was like, oh, my God. I can't watch this at all. It's I, was like, I was like, oh, my gosh. It is pretty violent. What well, is, the game is violent. You and yeah, Annabelle were really good for a month. Yeah, for like a month. Yeah. And then, would you ever try to uh, be king? No. Oh. I would love to. But she's uh, she's engaged. To oh. actually the nicest guy I've ever met. Don't take a life. picture of me, cocksucker. <laughs> What the hell? Like, he just gets better than you. Yeah, I know. I fucked up. Go, yeah, come on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't want to see a picture. I'm mm-hmm. off camera. We're not gonna post it. Gonna I don't. I hate yet. pictures. It's, huh? No, I, I, I won't. You will never. Uh, it'll be one day. Maybe the one hundredth episode. We'll have Marcus just no, up here. I want, yeah. I want to be the guy like you know, <laughs> we bring in Marcus. Look, we do. We hire like an actor, <laughs> like a Chinese guy, like. It's like, hey, guy. <laughs> like, I don't know if you ever gone like Marcus. This is like a little dark. But you ever gone to like the older cemeteries? And sometimes the <laughs> headstones from the ones from the nineteenth century. Uh-huh. But you see a little, a little picture of the person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you even did that to me on my headstone, I will haunt your ass. <laughs> I don't want no pictures. Were you Batman or something? I want people to be like, oh, that guy dead. Uh, his name was Marcus. <laughs> I don't. I hate. My, I hate. I, I, that's why I even Marcus. hate my social media. Like I think he was. Angry. I hardly ever fucking update it. I got pictures up there that's like fucking 10 years old. I do love your profile you. picture, kickboxing. Yeah, I don't want to change. No, I don't give a shit. Muay Thai. Muay Thai. Is that you? That's me. Let's stop fucking hating on photos. I gotta take good photos of you. Um, and how many did I ask? Wait, it's, it's continuing with that. How many did I ask after that? None. Just one. That's all I needed. And it's one that you barely see my face. Yeah. So yeah. shut the fuck up. You won't see your face yet. Shut the fuck up. You won't see your face. I like. Yeah. yeah. I don't like the online don't like shit. Don't care for it. This is dating. I don't even do that anymore. It's gonna be a Heineken. I just don't, 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 I just don't yeah. care. I have no I was, I know, drive I for anything. Back, I feels like. Yeah, yeah. I wait, hate, wait, 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 wait. Say that again. I, I have like zero drive. Like in terms, of like what you mean, like I, if I meet someone in person, it's different. But like when I get yeah. online and I sort of, eh, I don't want to do this shit. If I meet someone in person, it's different. But as far as it go, like I like how it used to be online all the time and Thank using yeah. Tinder. I used to use Tinder, Hinge, OkCupid. Okay, I hate it now. I like I don't want to bother. Because it's like, when you look at it, it's like you just look at a person's fit picture, and you got to oh, sum your entire self up in the fucking photo. I'm kind of like, glad I'm out of the day. You that should be glad. Be fucking, it's, it's, but like, especially now with people's mentality. Oh, that's going to lead to the thing I want to talk to you about, but we'll sit down. This is a good one. This one's fucking good. Sorry. No, no, that's, I was glad you did that. Yeah. Uh, how, how do you always just... Just fucking takes the focus off of everything. Just, just shut the fuck up. Stay in the corner. Yeah. You're not even mic'd up. Do you want to get mic'd up or not? Jesus. Should we get mic'd up? Yes. Wanna, you want to mic'd up? What's camera person, in your that, that person on? Um, is it? Is it? Um. South Park. People are like. Rabble, 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 rabble. Tim. Oh, you know what? I just watched my the, this morning uh, the best fucking episode. I love it so much, but it's it's Kyle's cousin uh, visiting from New York, and mm. he's like Kyle's his family's Jewish, so they bring in this. He's like, oh yeah, like oh wow, lovely. But it, his cousin comes. He's most like Jewish stereotype. Yeah, ever. yeah, I think it's I like, remember that. I'm back. <laughs> it's the best episode ever. 
Wait, I want to go back to what we were saying just now. Yeah. What was that story you were going to say now? Okay. Dating. So, we're in the... Like, so, it's so fucking messed up. It's so weird. We're dating somewhere or not? No, 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 no. We're talking about like... um. So, when they, they got this meme. Yeah, yeah this butthole. <laughs> this meme that's going around that it started on the TikTok where a guy went... I think it's in the UK. So, he asking women... If you were in the woods alone, what would you rather run into? A man or a bear? No bullshit. A majority of these women said a bear. You're kidding. Not lying. A bear. And then when you read some of these responses of why they're choosing a bear, can they say they can predict what a... leave my... Because they say they can predict... (laughs) You're like a little kid. Get out of here. Oh, my God. Because they're saying they could predict a bear's behavior. They can't predict a man's behavior. Wait, wait, oh, my wait. God. These women? That so choosing the bear over the man to run into them because they could predict a bear's behavior. One of them even said, oh, you, you could reason with a bear. Reason with a bear. Uh huh. So what are they saying? They can't predict a man? Because it's this whole thing where one guy made a good point. I was looking at him. What he was saying is that feminism has made men to be one of the worst things in the world for most women to fear. Because and you see the you see TV, you know, you see the crimes where like the, you know the husband beating his wife or the this gruntled boyfriend, you know, who's cheating on his girl, mm. ends up killing his girlfriend, some silly shit like that, right? Yeah. So all these women have this thing about bias about men. They're all dangerous. You got to, you know, be wary of them. So they'd rather face a deal with a bear than a human being. Even though you got a better probability to survive from a fucking person. And then we're going to do something to you. But what kind of bear are we talking about? All right, it doesn't fucking matter. D- d- does it matter? Because there's only one bear. Yes. There's only one bear. Black you, bear. The black bear. You know, that's the only bear. The only bear. Brown bear. Grizzly bear. Polar bear, you're done. done. You're finished. You're dead. But that's not even half of it. Immediately you're, done. Too. They can run 40 miles per yes, hour. Yes, up to 45 miles per hour. Now, here's the crazy part. The story I want to tell you is many stories of bears mauling somebody. It's just one particular story I just found out. The woman was, it was back in 2011, I think it was. The girl was 19 years old when she died, this Russian girl. She was out there with her, um, her stepfather at that time. It was like camping. A brown bear and her three cubs basically attacked them. Mm-hmm. The brown bear and the cubs killed the other guy. They crushed his skull with one hit mm-hmm. of the paw. Mm-hmm. They get on top of her, and now they're mauling her. Mm-hmm. She had enough time during her mauling to call her mother to tell us what's happening to her. This took an hour of this woman calling. Multiple phone calls. The first phone call, her mother's like, stop joking around. Second one, she, she the didn't mother, hear the, it, was, it wasn't until really the second call when the mother realized what was happening. And then she kept talking to her. She says, Mom, it doesn't hurt anymore. And then she it just goes dead. This was an hour. Now, you want to know why that? She couldn't call, like, emergency 911? No. Like, no. She wanted to call her mom. And you know, the worst part is that people don't realize, and these girls are choosing this dumb shit. If I had to say what animal I'm about to get killed by, if I had to, if I was, you know, you gave me a choice, give me the lion. The lion goes for your throat, yeah, the yeah. tiger goes for your fucking throat, and you're done. Mm-hmm. Bears, they don't go for the throat. They go for your arm. They go for your chest. They go for your stomach. You are completely alive as they're eating you. Mm-hmm. You're literally a fucking buffet for these creatures yeah. when they are eating you. Slowly. There's no yeah. for the throat and dragging you out, and you're done. It's literally you That's sitting there, and they're picking at you. And she did, and this was on for an hour, and this woman is literally laying there while these things are eating her alive. And these dumb women... Who are afraid of us or saying they better choose that? That is scary. Yeah. That's not ignorance. That just, that just, I mean, maybe it is ignorance, but a lot of it is because of our culture now and their feelings on men. Now, I can't, when I heard, I was like, are you fucking serious? Yeah. Like, if you give me, a, I, first of all, <laughs> I'm not a woman, but yo, if you told yeah, me, you know that. <laughs> yeah, we know that. If you not? told me, if, if you told me that I was facing a bear, or some strange dude who's going to do something to me, fuck, I'm giving up the kitty. I'm giving up the kitty. I don't give a fuck. I am not getting eaten alive by the bear. I'm about to give up the kitty and walk and live another day. Listen, you better give up eaten. that kitty so good that when he falls in love with you and then he takes care of him. Like, it's, 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 it's <laughs> insane. Around. It's I'm insane, also a millionaire. Dude. And I couldn't, I, and, the, and the thing is, like, I'm looking at the, you're looking at TikTok, right? 
And you just read the comments and all these women are co-signing this bullshit. Mm -hmm. Like, I understand if you got fears, but a, a bear? bear? A fucking grizzly like, bear. I don't understand if this thing was like a little a house cat and you got to... Yeah. I mean, if, you, if, if the story was you could beat a bear, just punch him in the nose and you walk away, then do it. Mm. But you that's know, not what happens. Mm. Yeah. That's not yeah. what happens with bears. You, you, also, you can't scare a grizzly bear away. You can scare no. a brown bear away. Yes. And, uh, and also a black bear, too. Yeah, you just but, make yourself look bigger yeah. and they, 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 they run grizzly away. Grizzly bears are pre apex predators. Yes. I think they could probably mess up a lion and a tiger. Yes, they will. I mean, they, they number one. The only animal yeah. that actually give a bear a problem that I remember them saying was a moose. But the moose uh, has to get them before the bear gets them. Right. You ever seen a moose? A moose is massive. Of a moose. And they yeah. fucking take down moose. They, they can take down a moose. moose. And you're talking about you want to face a bear than a regular dude in the street or in the woods? Right. Like, fuck out. You're crazy. Yeah. But the no way. Too, that, that make men look more evil in the eyes of whichever beholder mm -hmm. there is, it's just that women, when they get abused or something happened to them, they have sources to go to and explain the situation. Mm -hmm. Hotlines, police, whatever. Family, all this. Men... Don't have anything. You don't really have anything. You know, like, when you, if you're getting abused, if you're not feeling well, if, like, like who do you go to? Besides, you know. Well, 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 I mean, but for like, okay, but, but what happened to this man? Like, are we talking about like? Someone? If he gets abused, if a woman hits him. Oh, yeah. If he's in a relationship where he's getting hit. Right, 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 right. right. You know, where things are getting thrown at him, yeah. where he's being bullied, mm -hmm. where he's like, things are like, you know, being told to you where it's like, you know, if you tell a woman the same thing, it would be somebody else would look on the outside and be like, oh, you shouldn't tell her that. But women do do it to men. Mm -hmm. who, who, who do men go to? Yeah. Who are your boys? And talk about it, but at the end of the day, they're gonna be like, oh, don't worry about it. You know what I mean? Like, man up. Yeah, you're gonna hear a lot of a woman pick on you, whatever. You know? Yeah, but. you know, like, who do you go to? You go to your mom? And then she's and gonna, your, your mom's gonna be arms up in uh, defense. Like, who, who, who's, like, you know? Mm -hmm. and she or might, not, not, but, or not, not that, but she's gonna fucking hate your girlfriend or wife. Exactly. You know, it's and, and, and then so. next thing you know, it was probably something that just goes by and then right. all of a sudden it gets more serious and now she really still hates her right no i mean the uh the only problem is also is too is like uh it, it's that it's that amount of like that that male pride like you gotta fucking yeah always be nothing bothers me nothing bothers me I'm but like, well, it is mental me. it is mental health awareness month may officially you don't hear about I it. I fucking hate these months. I hate these this months. Month is everything. Oh, fuck these it's months. It's crazy. Mental health awareness and also like a long list of May like... is uh, Asian Heritage Month. Mm -hmm. Last month was, uh, what was it? Who was it? I don't know. I know well, Glass. I know gay, LGBT. Whatever. It's every month. Every Everybody. day. Mm -hmm. Every hour. Every second. <laughs> it's, uh, I joke with my roommate. It's uh, gay pride for me every month but June. That's it. Fuck the gays in June. I'm kidding. Wow. Hey, it's better. It's better than. Hey, I'm 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 pro black except for February. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the most racist in February. No, you're not. You're just doing it just to get a laugh. <laughs> Stir the pot. Let's make his boyfriend happy. He's a shit star. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Will, get him, Will. <laughs> Sound the rise again. Um, no, it is like it's funny because like May has all these different things, like different this, different. Why different couldn't months, May but, be like, for? Uh, there are multiple other months. There are eleven other months. Mm -hmm. I mean, October is breast cancer. May awareness. should have been for the gays. That's a good month. May. It's gonna gay. be May. M a y g a y. Yes. Gay May. Yes. Holy crap! Gay May May. May. I, 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 I'm yeah. sure that this what is the their month. We human society sucks. <laughs> How we not figure that out? That's <coughs> incredible. And also, uh, Black History Month is February, the yeah. shortest mm -hmm. month. Of course, it's like the biggest. You know, everyone always says that, but it's like Gay May. Perfect. Gay May. Yeah. Make it. Make it. Make it. Make it. Make like May Day. May Day. May Day. Yeah, isn't it Megatron. funny that 
they get an entire month, <coughs> but our veterans just get like two days. Oh, veterans should get a whole. Isn't day. that crazy? You just get Memorial Day. It the veterans sucks. Day. Ah, it should sucks. be November. November is a great month to have Veterans Day, or Veterans Month, or whatever. And then and then toss it up too with uh, uh, active duty. Why not? You know, there was a video that I saw. I think it was like a World War Two. They did like this whole drafting system, and like this was back then. Like you go and like every, every there was only a certain amount of channels, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. you know news comes on a certain time. Oh, right. Everybody would be home to yeah. watch the news. So the news would come up. Or listen to the was, radio. Yeah. It was the military there, the army. And they put up like on this big board. They pick the month, the date. And if you are between the ages of, let's say, 18 to 25, and you were born on February 17th, May 12th, October 23rd, once those dates are called, you have to go in. You're going to. That's the how they would draft. Yeah. Really? So yeah. just by the birthday. By the birthday. But they did it smart though, because they know how many people are born. On right. Day. Right. 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 You yeah. Know? Yeah. They like, like I think May twentieth is like a big. So many birthdays. September. On May September is a big one too. September yeah. is huge. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of people born in September because a lot of people are having. January, yeah, January, August, September, sex, New Year's Eve sex, August and September, yeah. or maybe even Christmas sex if the birth was delayed. But yeah, um, yeah, that's funny. Also, you can't be drafted if you're flat footed. I heard about that. Is that true? I'm pretty sure it's true. <clears throat> I'm flat footed. Um, yeah, I don't know if that's too true because if you think about it, it's not just when you do a draft, or at least in the military, you don't have just one branch you got to go to a different... You don't have to be combat role. You're flat footed, mm. you're peeling potatoes. Yeah, you can yeah, be peeling yeah, yeah. potatoes. Oh, right, right, right. You could be a mechanic. You yeah. could be... There's a lot of things you could do that other than you have to march and, you know, right. worry about that right. shit. I always thought it was because you can't be flat footed because they didn't have... They didn't make shoes or boots. Probably. I don't know. For oh, flat footed people. Oh, here we go. Flat foot. Previously, the army disqualified individuals with flat feet. However, in 2016, this policy changed. Now, flat feet are only disqualifying if they cause pain, impaired function, or affects an individual's ability to meet physical fitness standards. My flat feet hurt. My flat feet hurt. It hurts a lot. I can't go to war. Don't be a bitch. <laughs> It'd be kind of, I mean, be, I mean, imagine you'd be badass if you got you know they should the do? back of a truck with a fucking gun. I'll be happy. And, and you know what they should do? Like, for every flat foot they, they got to disqualify, throw a woman in there. That's what feminism wants. Yeah. That's equality. What's the ratio? I don't know. But you want know, to know something it's interesting? Not, probably, I can't imagine. You want to know something interesting? You ever heard of Lady Death? Never Sounds heard familiar. of her? Never heard of her? Sounds... So she was a Russian sniper. And she has, I think, anywhere from 309 to 310. I think it's either 309 or 310 confirmed kills during World War II. They had a whole sniper division, I believe, of women. But she was the most famous one. She'd been shooting since she was like a kid. Yeah. And became a beast. I'm surprised you haven't had a movie about that lady yet. Right. Like all the movies that Hollywood loves to make about women in power, right, right, right. you have a bona fide badass a, I mean, who killed three hundred and nine, maybe not three hundred nine or three hundred ten fucking Nazis. Yeah, that's incredible. You was funny, too. and they all confirmed. Ooh. You no. saw it, right? No, no. You said that. This is the sixteenth episode. Hmm. Just the sixteenth. Yeah. Oh, sounds like the twentieth. This is the seventeenth. Oh, it was supposed to be the 20th, but mm. one got lost footage, one got fucked up. And I said the most um, racist thing ever. And then, um... Did it was so... Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'm quiet now, and I'm still getting... <laughs> we gotta delete the episode. Delete the episode. <laughs> it got really quiet, you heard a fart in the back. Yeah, Did you move? I moved, I moved. Oh. <laughs> Do you, have, do you have like say. a charger thing for this? Uh, That's not a charger, right? That's just storage. It was storage. I forgot what I was gonna say. Hmm. It was something. Ashley Oakley. No, this one, like, I can't fucking bring him nowhere. He's fucking farting all over the place. It's Kane. 
Never mind. Sorry, Marcus. No, uh, I, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know what's wild though is like we we take pride in like beating the Germans in World War II, which we did have a hand in, heavy hand in. Mm-hmm. But the Russians did it. Yeah, They're like they, you know, did, they did the grunt work. They did, they did all the bulk of the work. Yeah. Like hundreds of thousands of Russians died defending you know their their invasion and then also but what really helps was that the german soldiers were not used to russian winter mm-hmm. and you know when they're trying to storm them it just history piece of it happened to napoleon too yeah it, it was like watching this guy he was talking about it. like he says just don't attack russia when they first of all when they mostly galvanize when they're the most together and they're not in their fighting yeah when they're united right and then people attack them during their winters it's like yeah and russia is tough because i like, got the, yeah. the, the terrain and how the, the tanks can't roll through because right. of the fucking snow. And it was just bad. It was right. a bad strategic move. Yeah. Good for Russia. Okay. You know? It's probably... But not good Russia now. So straight. We mentioned Germany. Amazing. We're, We're ta- I'm not saying anything I'm just bad saying, about Germany. I'm just saying this to the point where we have to do an episode of Germany. <laughs> so, but this is... Sauerkraut like, sandwiches. This is what I wanted to bring up. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. AI takes a Hitler speech and puts it into English for you to hear what he's saying. Right? Are we going to be taken down for this? No. Okay. It's on YouTube. <laughs> That's true. What you think is right, whether you believe that I have been diligent, that I have worked hard, that I have consistently advocated for you in these past years, and that I have conducted myself with decency, I have devoted my time in the service of my people's welfare. Please cast your vote now. If yes, then stand up for me just as I courageously stood up for you. So. Du, meine Arbeit für Richtigkeit, ob du glaubst, dass ich fleißig gewesen bin, dass ich gearbeitet habe, dass ich mich in diesem Jahr für dich eingesetzt habe, dass ich an. I just think the German accent makes it sound a lot more. But he, but the thing, he's Austrian, right? right? And really, Austrian, a lot of the action is very nasally, like, but fuck him, fuck him, like, uh, Hill, um, Schwarzenegger, yeah, he's from Austria, too. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it's funny because, like, when you hear the American oh, or the English, this down, it's like, it's like, uh, next thing you know, it's our screensaver. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> no, and then it's funny because like in the in the English version, it doesn't sound as intense, but just the German language is. So- you know, you know what's crazy too about the German language? Hmm. Marcus speaks it. Not really well. Really? You used to. I mean, I could read it better, but I haven't studied it in years. God, <laughs> stop! <laughs> it's a very, it's very, it's not a hard language, but it's. Sometimes when people are just really good at languages, you pick up with things easier. It's not a hard like, language. You can hear that shit. It's it sounds hard, but it really isn't. It follows a lot of like a lot of it. Like if you're American, you can learn it pretty easy because it follows the same letters. Oh, like, few oh, exceptions and certain things. Yeah, it's, it's only like, the only thing is like you have a double S, which it looks like it looks like a B. There's a fucked up little B there. It's weird. It's kind of talking about. Yeah. yeah, you know what I'm saying. But it's yeah. it's called a double S. So like if you're ever gonna write it. In English, it would be D A. Say you say Daz, but you're using the double S. Mm-hmm. It would be D A, and you write two S's in that. Uh, but with in German, it would just be that that symbol. But it's you don't have to. But it, it's a, it's an interesting language. But if you're learning English, it's like one of those. If you're, if you're an English speaker, you may find a couple of things difficult because they do switch things around on you. But it's very similar in terms of the words we use. If you're German, if you like, and you speak German, like, do, don't they say German? German? No. They just say Deutsch. 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 Okay. Yeah. Deutsch is German. Okay. Deutschland. Ger- German was a word like. So, like, when the Vikings were out and about, um, they didn't have, like, a nationality, really. Like, mm-hmm. They just, like, were. They were in. Um... Oh. oh was that the. Oh, it sounds like. Because it was green there, and it was like, oh, you have glitter on your shirt. <laughs> I do have paint on me, though, somewhere. Um, yeah, sorry. As you I was were, painting my as you walk. Um, but the, so the Vikings, they didn't have much, like much of anything. So like Scandinavia was just kind of a wasteland. So when they traveled over to um, when they traveled over to Iran, 
and they basically had to like trade and whatever and they're like they have math they have like the number zero mm -hmm. they have like philosophical stuff like why are we like doing stuff here they don't they, they don't read like, everything for the the vikings at the point was very like oral yeah i saw a lot of i saw a lot of early people i saw you get a lot of um stories oracle everything yeah. was like hey they didn't really have like yeah like no one wrote no one did any kind of that nothing was written down so they were just like became obsessed with like like the territory then uh, now is iran but they're just like but the language that iran said that they would name them were garman oh really so mm. they're I, I i i don't know the translation um but so garman slowly became german or german mm. german and then it became German because of the French. They're like, that's how they pronounce their G's. Um, and uh, but I thought it was fascinating too, because it's like kind of the same thing with the Byzantine Empire. Mm -hmm. Like they weren't called, they didn't call themselves the Byzantine, Byzantine Empire yeah. during that time, nor did the Vikings. Like we just coined the Vikings maybe like 500 years ago. Like, oh yeah, they were just the Vikings. I, th well, I think the problem Minnesota. should be Scandinavian. Minnesota Vikings. <laughs> but it should be the proper term would be Scandinavian. Right. The Scandinavian people, right? Because that's like that encompasses all, or even Nordic that encompasses all those, right? Right, the Nordic countries up there. It was just so funny because, like, it, they, they basically <clears throat> they had these great technological advancements with their ships, mm -hmm. their armor, like the weapons. Um, they're really good at growing, um, and the agriculture, they, could they were they actually were very progressive, too. Yeah. I did have female um, they were shield matings. They used to fight alongside them. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I mean, as long as you're strong enough. Yeah. But it's crazy. That's how they are today, though. Like, a lot of Scandinavian countries are really, really e um, what's that, egalitarian? Egalitarian? Yeah. Like, they're very big, like, you know, when the sexes equal, which yeah. is, some people argue it's not good. All right. Some so, people argue it, depending on who you are. Jordan Peterson, name me, one of them. You would say that. Oh, That's what I agree with him. Uh, <laughs> Okay, so you want to know what the six easiest languages to learn? I know Japanese is speakers. up there. I know Japanese is really? up there. Really? Mm -hmm. Very wow. English. It, sh it should be. English it's, is the hardest. Japanese uh, is one of the easiest languages for in English speakers. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. For okay. English speakers. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. There we go to six, right? It's not ranked. They don't have a rank here. Um, no, but they have it for hours to basically how many hours it would take mm -hmm. to learn these languages, mm -hmm. but what they have on the top of their list is Dutch, Spanish, mm -hmm. Portuguese, Italian, French, and German. Told you. And, mm -hmm. they, and it's interesting that they had to have Dutch up there because Dutch and German are very similar. Mm -hmm. Very similar. If you if you look at how the Dutch yeah, alphabet and German is family yes, as languages. It's very similar. But that's but the thing I was that I, now when you talk about with Japanese, the reason why I was saying that's another yeah. language, excluding the letters. Like you get like not drawing out the fucking, you know. Oh, yeah. But if you're just talking about the like characters. the characters itself, you announce you basically say the words as you see it. Like the way they write the word, that's <clears> how you will say the word. Yeah, there's not there's not much accent to it. Like I had a friend tell me in China that he's Chinese, and he's saying just just the way you inflect your voice right. changes the word. It's, like, a, it's a huge like, like yeah. that's a different word than it's very tonal. Yeah, it's like what the fuck? Like yeah. I'll fuck that up. I, I think um <laughs> oh man um the the Indian language Hindu Hindu, Hindu. That's, that's, isn't that tonal as well? Like I'm not say sure. ha, uh, uh, very really. Things. So yeah. one's like my um my neighbor, she's learning Hindu. And why? Well she's actually she's actually <laughs> Why? I'm actually, just saying is there's not many places you go in the world like you speak Hindu. Uh, like you, how many places you go in the world where you're just like you oh, the, the country hey, speak? probably the second most populated but <laughs> how many times you walk into a restaurant does anyone speak Hindu in here? <laughs> oh, in his yeah, order. Yeah, no. Yeah. He is Spanish. We are of the Western world. But because I mean, most of the people who come from places like India, they gotta make them learn English because they, they make they, them learn. you know they mm -hmm. have to. Yeah. You know? But she's actually her parents are from India, okay. so she wants to like learn. But what I want to do, Wait, I, I want to learn Mandarin. No, but her parents know it. No, so she's doing a Duolingo like every night. Oh, Duolingo. That's why I was learning <laughs> yeah. the German. It's really so weird. like, she, like we'll be like watching a movie or something. We're kind of chilling, and then all we hear is like, ha, ah, ho, 
Uh, and like, stop doing Duolingo or just go to the bathroom or something and just do it. I don't want to hear mm. Duolingo right now. Sounds like Watch a slow movie. laugh. Ha, 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 Corn. Uh, Corn. Here's the six hardest languages to learn for an English speaker. I know Chinese got to be a guy. Mandarin is number one. I want to learn Mandarin. So this one order. has it as Dude, listed, nice right? Mandarin. So number one is Mandarin. Number two, Arabic. Number oh, three, Arabic. Polish. Number four, Russian. Number five, Turkish. Number six, Danish. Wow. Danish? Have you ever seen... Isn't Danish kind of close to I Dutch? Mm-hmm. I don't know. My mom's part Danish. Have you, ever, have you ever seen... Polish lettering. It's it looks. It looks. It's it's their characters almost. It's like W C Z V. Like wow. How are you it, it almost looks so like. Hard. It almost looks like AI tried to write something in English. No, it looks like the, the letters. Yeah, you know when you see AI. Yeah, like, yeah. So gave well, me. Uh, no, you never seen like when you guys like. I don't know if you when we on set. Like say we had like pamphlets like that set dress we'll put out like for you know a shoot, and sometimes it would just be. Random letterings, right, right. it all looks like it's Polish. Really? Because you can't read it. Like, I'll pick them up sometimes. They're not, someone didn't write it out. They just went, eh. yeah. They just type a bunch of fucking characters on the keyboard to make it look like it's actually English. Do Cedric's are still like. Oh, um, we don't do that. That's the art department. Are, or does the yeah. art department still do, like, uh, if they're, let's just say we do like an office scene and we're at an office location and then they uh, just make names for every, uh, titling every office. Yeah. Do they just pick someone randomly on the call sheet. Yeah, sometimes they use yeah. the guys Wait, from the crew. The Polish as a joke. alphabet yeah. doesn't have the words Q, V, and X. Really? I, I don't. Spanish doesn't have W. Miguel, he he's not fluent. Oh, he speaks Spanish. Yeah, he speaks the worst Spanish. It, I I took Spanish. I for, speak better than Jalo. Probably. Jalo's rich. <laughs> I took sure. Spanish in, in high school. She went. She got a boot. I didn't speak it for like four years, I and I moved to New York. Uh, you eating is on your back. Not flowing. Oh, I. The fuck are you saying? You're flowing all over again. I know. Again. I, know. <laughs> you know, I took Spanish in high school. I haven't spoken it for four weeks. Moved to New York. And four years. In it. Again, it's like you're fluent. He's like, no, I'm not. Uh, yeah. No, but it's funny because uh, my my old my, my buddies they moved to Mexico, and they were and I went and visited them. Um, after like a year after they moved oh. and he know, and he's a white dude from Connecticut he knows Spanish I want to tell you about Mexico but they're doing the reverse so basically what's happening is they are not liking Americans coming over to Mexico yeah they saw a switch in the system where a lot of Americans that have the money come to Mexico right. Because their money can spread across the board for a longevity of time, mm-hmm. making them live like kings. Yes. So because they come here with this excess amount of money, and what they feel like a dollar can stretch more is they spend more money in Mexico, mm-hmm. not thinking it's a lot because it's less within their mind frame of the American dollar, but they're jacking up the cost because everyone in Mexico are now are like, Okay, well, if you're paying a dollar for this, now it's going to be $3. Mm-hmm. And now who's seeing the, the brunt end of this is the Mexican people. Mm-hmm. So the Mexican people now have to spend more money mm-hmm. on what now the Americans are jacking up everything. Right. So gentrification, now, yeah. It, gentrification, yes. But they can never do anything about it, unfortunately. Well, now they're going to the Americans because they're finding out a lot of Americans are illegal. Mm-hmm. And they're like, you gotta leave the country. Yeah, I see. But yeah. uh, that's the thing. That's the only thing they can do because, because like, since what's his name? Um, who got? I forgot who it was. Reagan got us off. I think it was Reagan, right? Who got us off the gold standard? So now we were, we under fiat currency. So when we went to Saudi Arabia, Saudi Arabia, the deal is that our military will protect you in most of these oil countries. That's why we protect them. But whoever buys oil you from you, got to pay. With the, you gotta sell or buy with American dollar, and, which is and now, it's a petrol dollar. So if you are buying money or oil you from Saudi Arabia, you are fucked. Mm-hmm. So Mexico could never do anything because I'm quite sure they're getting their oil and yeah, from Saudi Arabia. And right, what's right. happening now? Russia and China yeah. are now trying to obsolete the American dollar. They're trying, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. Trying. Because of the petrol, that, that's the reason why like people will say, "Oh, we gotta cut the military. If you cut the military, you're gonna destroy the American economy." That's why America doesn't want to do that because they know that if we don't have a strong military back in all these countries, and who we tell them to buy with the petrol dollar, our money, that basically you're gonna destroy our economy because you're gonna go to say China or you're gonna go to Russia. Mm -hmm. But if you won't have the threat, then America is gonna put that foot up your ass. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what we did. That's what we did to Syria. That's what we did to what? What's that guy? Gaddafi. Because yeah, Gaddafi was trying to get us off the dollar, get right. his country off of the fucking dollar. Yeah. And he was like, mm, no, no. So do you think no. that's why we're so gung ho? I mean, of course yes. we have like, you know what I yeah. mean? But gung ho on like um, on, in uh, in Palestine right now, because like we have. Well, of course, it's a lot of because of the. It's always been a long history. Yeah. What do you mean we're going home, Palestine? So, you know, we have, like, you know, uh, American hostages there. Yeah. And then, of course, we have, you know, Israel wants to bomb. They are bombing. How many hostages do we have in Palestine? Mm. Maybe a handful. But, but at the end of the day, but you know, but it's, it's, still, yeah. it's still, like, a, enough justification to be, like, we're going to fucking. Well, we're going to do it regardless because yeah. they, they we give them weapons. But like I say, it's yeah. all reciprocal thing. Like, the, 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 the military industrial complex is a reason why. We are where we are right now in this mm. country. How we got to put our foot in everything, right. because one, like I said, the petrol dollar is one thing. You know, we got to make sure you buy money. You know, buying your oil, and we getting the money from that. But it's also like America. We we the imperials of the world. Mm -hmm. We're all so, the guys who are going to control much of the world to our interests. Right. I mean, that's why when we was on the gold standard, you wouldn't really hear America being across the world. We were isolationists. Exactly. At that point. I was, but once you take us off for that... Richard Wilson, I think? There's a hundred... I forgot who. I think it was Reagan. I forgot who took us off. Yeah, Reagan was. But, yeah, but, yeah. But, but, but Richard Wilson, I thought, was isolationist. Yes, yes. Was like, we're not yeah. getting yeah. any foreign affairs. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Great. Let's talk about the present. God, you guys are like history buffs. I would love. I, you know, I'm like the two of you with history. I'm like. I kind of wanted. I, I want to take just like history classes again. I love history. History is great. Yeah. Listen, there's a hundred hostages. Wait, one last thing. Captain. One last thing though. If you want to see something funny, I just saw. I just thought about this. Okay, go. Shoot. There's this. Uh, there's a photo of this um British soldier. He's on his stomach with a submachine or a machine gun shooting at something. You know, party Germans or whatever. But this. French lady is pouring him a glass of fucking cider <laughs> as he's shooting. Wait, when was this? <laughs> you can find like him finding, No, like, like, it's like old. Oh, it's like World oh, yeah. War II picture. It's, it's amazing because like yeah. he's over there just focused. He's shooting and he's like kind of like situated. He's hugging a corner. So she's kind of over there hugging the corner too and she's pouring a glass of cider for him. Awesome. It's like, it's like a scene from Civil War. When, that's when, that's when, what they, they did. The, uh, they had picnics in the yeah, fucking yeah. Civil War. Yeah. People don't realize that these guys are popping fucking, they like, get underneath a tree. Like, they're oh, sitting. they're going to do a battle at Gettysburg. Let's <laughs> get a picnic and watch. Watch out for the cannonball. <laughs> there it is. Oh, there go. it is. <laughs> Amazing. This poor man. Here you go. <laughs> Some fucking straw for him to at least enjoy it. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> You gotta stop shooting for a little bit. I so, think it's whole so okay, hilarious. Okay, so there's a hundred. What what PBS? PBS. Is, do we do we consider PBS as reputable? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So yeah. PBS is saying not BBC. There there BBC. are among you don't, you don't consider, really you don't um, consider P it, BBC reputable? No. No. Nope. What would they be biased about? Europe. Yeah, they 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 the British broadcast. Yeah, but like but, but they, they like the they like the fucking really CNN of fucking of, of uh, the UK. They, just, they, okay. got, they got so serious bias. They are among a hundred hostages still held captive by Hamas in Gaza, which are five Americans that are believed to be alive and the body of three Americans confirmed dead. Hmm. So what's also humiliating about Gaza, that could be a great like industrial import, but they just focus that solely on like a poorly done military entity. That's bad. It's like you could make so much money by making that in like a like a a, a pier it's for like a, goods to come in and out. And they're like, no, this could be mil and, and, and then they, they fucked up that whole military situation. Hmm. And they're blocking people away from leaving Gaza. My favorite thing is actually watching all these you the campuses. All these kids oh, yeah. are protesting. Yeah. Do you yeah. see the they one lady? To them. They're like, what are you protesting about? And they're like, ah, we don't really no. know. We just... Did you see the one with the lady, the girl? She's like a representative of the, the protesters at one of the schools. I forgot which. I, Columbia. For Columbia. You can probably find it online. Her name was like Johannes 
um, King Slutsky. Poe Slutsky. Her nice. <laughs> name is King Slutsky. I want that name so bad. <laughs> and she's over here like, we need... King of the Sluts. We, King of the Sluts. We need humanitarian... Slut Lord. She's like, we need humanitarian aid. And the, the, and the fucking reporter's like, uh... Humanitarian aid, uh, you guys can kind of just go to the cafeteria. Like, yeah. your, like you can look it up. It's, she it's she all... was the one saying that yeah. the school, we pay tuition there. They have to give us food. They should be bringing food. Yeah, and, he's, and, he, and they basically and like, like, you can just go and get your own food. You, you guys are doing this to yourselves. Like, yeah. what are you talking about? Yeah. I, I right. love the like, one. You're not, it was, it was this is not, you're not Gaza. Right. <laughs> so it was a college in the South. They, it was a, a handful of people, about like 12, 15. Mm -hmm. They came with a fucking um, with a Palestine flag. They start to wave it. They went on college campus, the worst area ever. They went to the fraternity row house. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I saw this. And yeah. all of a sudden, all the frat boys came out. They all fucking like circled them. They weren't being, you know, they no, there's no physicality. Yeah, 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 no violence. But they all circled them mm -hmm. with American flags, singing the American anthem, <laughs> just yelling USA. And the people that were pro Hamas was like, we should just leave because this, this is, is dumb. not yeah. working out for us. But it's a long place, wrong time. Yeah. But it's like everything happened with NYU, Columbia, UCLA. Mm -hmm. A lot of these people aren't like. They feel like NYPD came out and they said we have no justification, but we do think that this is an insider job. There are people that outside are, agitators, yeah, that's yes. coming in. Yeah, there's yes. a Law and Order episode about that. Yeah, this, this is the one we did the rewrite for. Because these guys, like, you, have, you know what's funny about these movements? I remember when Black Lives Matter first was, you know, when it came to prominence and everybody's talking about, it. like, it's not like Trayvon Martin and like um those, those cases. Mm -hmm. I remember I had a debate with my brother. He was like, he was, Chester, Chester was not down with it. He doesn't care for it. Even today, he doesn't care about those things. Because he said, and he's true, that every time that you get a movement that doesn't really have true leadership to it, like say like we have like Dr. King and those guys. Right. There's no true leadership. It's, it's hidden leadership. Well, no. What happens at this, with that message that starts the movement going, okay, we want to get more police accountability. Mm. That was originally what Black Lives Matter wanted. Police accountability and justice right, and right. none of this shit. And then it just breaks off into this different words of sectionality. Mm. And that's exactly what we've seen there. If you go to those, like he just said, you go to the protest, these kids don't know what the fuck they're protesting. Mm. One guy will say, oh, we, we're here for trans rights. Another one will be like, oh, we're here for socialism. We're here for equality. We're here. No one can say what they're really there for. Right. Because everyone comes with, because they all group every fucking struggle yeah. Together, one and the one, one common enemy is always America. Right. One big right. one was they were like, NYU, we're protesting because NYU and Columbia takes the money from the tuition and puts it into yeah. the military. And they think they're going to get them to stop doing that? They're fucking ridiculous. And it's like, but so does UCLA. So that's right. what I'm trying to figure out now. Like, do all the big colleges do that? They probably do, but no. you're not going to get them to stop. There's a cash cow for them. Like I was watching some guy talk about Harvard, and he was like, "I don't not talking about the the contracts they're into, but like the subsidies they get from the government is yeah. worth billions. Yeah. Yeah. They're not even touching that money. That money is literally just it's sitting in a vault somewhere. It's gonna grow and grow. Yeah, and grow. all the money they they they, they, they are spending oh. is from what the the donors give them and right. the tuitions kids are paying. Right. But they got tons of money up the ass. Mm -hmm. You're not stopping their flow of cash. You're right. Just not. They are elite for a fucking reason. Yeah. And these schools been around since like before any of us was born. They're not going anywhere. It's wild how much like you, like, you know, these kids are paying tuition or their parents paying tuition, mm -hmm. and then they call you after you graduate. And they're like, "Um, oh, we're doing a we're doing a, like an alumni, you know, mm -hmm. uh, paying we're in donation season. Give us a thousand dollars." Oh, are you hungry? No, I I think my my stomach just kind of made a noise. It's twice. I'm not, I'm not hungry actually, but <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. Really concerning. Yeah. I'm gonna use mushrooms now. Number one, don't worry. No, oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what an average Two Harvard University years. professor makes a year? <laughs> How much? One hundred sixty-nine thousand. One hundred sixty-nine thousand. This is a guy who's telling all these kids about fucking socialism, and he's making one hundred sixty thousand. That is the average. And that's the average. So the the base is between. The estimated, this is estimated, it's 126 to 231,000 per year. 
Jeez. base salary and additional pay. What additional pay? I don't know. Overtime? How much do ADs make a year? Oh, they, I can tell you that right now. Like, because I know ADs and on set <coughs> um, Scenics make some of the most Scenics, cash. Scenics make a lot. A lot. That's why they try to get rid um, of them. I'm telling you, these UPMs AI. Will, yo, these UPMs will be AI. They will fucking dance over the graves of every fucking on on scene cynic, cynic they could get rid of. They do not do like these guys. guys. They hate them. So we're introducing uh Miguel, who's a transgender. <laughs> I'm transitioning. I don't know how to do with my hands. I'm just gonna keep them up high. <laughs> Hi. If My name's Will. If we were to do on? this at a show with him, it would be an argument. <laughs> argument. This would just be a fighting session mm. of us just He's yelling at each other. Sure. Yeah, you know, I, was doing, I did the Ricky Bobby with my hands out there. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so an AD studio salary is about $6,202 a week. Look at that. No, no, no. How much? When you break that down with the taxes and everything, that's good. Yeah, out. yeah, four thousand. It's just shitty. Shitty. They, they but rob them. Then, they, but then, but here's. But they get those bonuses. They get fucking. Uh, they also get um, uh, what's that? Uh, residuals. They get all that shit. What are you doing? Just, Did it fall on the dog shit? No. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> he pulls it up. <laughs> it's chocolate. Oh, um, chocolate. No, but then you have dues that you have to pay as well. Mm. Remember that for a you studio. Do, uh, hey, but, what, but, but what they make a year, though? Oh, I don't know. What, it depends. Because we, you would never know what an AD makes because, unless it's an AD that works every single day and no one works every single well, day. Well, I was looking, because I remember when I, on our union, we was looking at I mean, I think that we, it, it ballpark close to what those, those fucking universities are making. The point of making is that the guys who are at these universities, they got their jobs in the bag. Mm-hmm. They don't have, unless, unless they do something extremely stupid, they're not going anywhere. No, and they and they, and they build up. Like I think I'm quite sure the salary increases the longer they're at these schools. Of course, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's funny to me that these students are are learning from these professors, and they teach them like, "Fuck capitalism!" But you, motherfucker, you making money for capitalism? What are you right, talking right, about? Right, right, right. Like yeah. you, hell, you, know, you telling me I gotta be Mr. Socialist? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna be in debt up to my eyeballs when I get out. Mm-hmm. You're fine. You're not gonna help me pay for my schooling. Yeah. And how else I'm gonna pay for my schooling? By getting a fucking job, mm-hmm. contributing to capitalism. I just think it's I such think bullshit. That, yeah, they just indoctrinate these poor kids. They I mean, just and, but just, the same thing goes with like people, like and myself included, like mm-hmm. like people who live in Brooklyn, who are like, "Fuck capitalism." I mean, I, I'm I'm pro yeah, capitalism, yeah. but like I, I see a, around a lot in like Bush, where you're like, "Fuck capitalism." Like you work for a blocking Martin. Yeah, what are you talking yeah. about? Like, I mean, as a poor example, but like a lot of people. Are I like, know what you mean, but it's like, then, or, no, or maybe, right? they're, maybe they're freelancers and they're like, you know, they're always looking for work, and like they, they, well, that's kind of a capitalist mm-hmm. move in a way. Yeah. Where you're always looking for, you always find it. It's, it's like I, I like it's a very, very poor example, but like, that's how you make money. You have to pay rent. You have mm-hmm. to, you know, find food. Like, I mean, I think work. I think when they figure it, I don't get me wrong. I think if you have, if you did a social society, right. You can make it work if everyone is well intentioned. Mm-hmm. We know people are not. not no. Every time these communist countries fell, it's not just because of the system they they had it work. It's because the fucker guys behind it also didn't do their jobs. Mm-hmm. They got corrupted. You taking and also there's no innovation that comes out of it because there's no competition. So right. therefore, you're depending on everything on the government. And we already know how good government fucks up. They can't mm-hmm. even give you your tax returns on time. What made you fucking think the government is going to do well by the American people? Right. Make sure everyone is eating. Yeah. And one thing get the that, fuck that, out of here. It's not real. About that, which, like, <clears throat> I look at it now, and it's like, you got everyone coming in. Illegal mm-hmm. immigrants, migrants, mi- migrants. They come in, and they're making a 1000 a week mm-hmm. with all these benefits and everything. And then you have people like me who are like, I would never ask the government for help. Because here I am, I'm working hard, I pay yeah. my taxes, and I make my money, and I'm gonna do things the right way because I wanna see I wanna see things the right way. Right. Because if you start asking for help, then why did you ask for help? Because you can't pay for this and you can't mm-hmm. get this now. But here we are, these people doing this. So now it's like I'm sitting here like contemplating and thinking to myself, like, why the fuck can I go ask for food stamps now? You should. 
or ask for sure. all the help that I can because you're giving all these people the help that they can get. Mm -hmm. Why why can't you you give help to a guy who's been working his whole life? Well, that's the thing when I cover me. They only, they only do the socialism part for like corporations. Like they do that's when they do that's when you start seeing socialism come out when they give them like these bailout monies. Mm -hmm. Like no, this is I I'm an old school capitalist story. It's this is Vegas. Yeah. You come in, yeah. you, you play your hand. Oh, you lost your money. Oh, well. Want to play a game? Want to play a game? Want to play, 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 play a game? No, there's no handouts. No. Nah. No. Nah. <laughs> but what I will say is if you're going to start doing that, as, that whole handout system, then do it for everybody. Man. Yeah. If you're going to give, if you're going to send my billions yeah. of dollars of taxes to fucking Ukraine and Israel, send me some fucking money then. Because you are taking the money from us, essentially. Mm -hmm. for, like, I still don't understand how the government can take money from us when. You didn't help me get my job, but that's what we do. Why couldn't it be? There should be a vote system for this. Not with the Senate. Mm -hmm. Not not with them. You, you know how you send out ballots every four years? For, for a bridge, every, every, yeah. Oh, a couple of months. Mm -hmm. uh, no, every couple of years for your local Senate, right. your mayor, your whatever. Yeah. <clears throat> if it's going to be over, let's just say, let me put a cap, $100 million dollars. Then it needs to be bring to the public attention. Yeah, and the public should but say should we, yay yeah, or nay. nay. Yep. Okay, wait. So a hundred million dollars for if what? if 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 it's a decision for your your state your government to say hey we want to put oh. ninety nine thousand into this and the, uh, and the roads it or, shouldn't matter yeah, yeah. Uh, whatever but if it's a hundred thousand dollars or more then a hundred million dollars or more. Mm then it should be brought to the public's attention. Mm -hmm. Right. And then we can vote for it. Interesting. Yeah, but you know why... That should be the case. That's you know, a they, great but, idea. Yeah. But they wouldn't do that because they, they know every time they send this money out, it's for the serves their interests. Mm -hmm. So course. they know that if we go... Like, unless they sell it to you bullshit, because you know, think about it. You ever seen how they got those... When they do put out those bills? Like, just say, for example, that Will comes to me and he says, Marcus, I want you with me on this bill for, you know, for like... For, for greenhouse, like we want to make sure we make everything green. This is our mm -hmm. green bill. It won't just be the green bill. It won't just be like we want panels. It'll be like with that, you also gotta get, like <laughs> provide like um, LGBT rights for Pakistan. Right. Like, what? Right. 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 <laughs> Pakistan. Hey, we, we vote for one thing. Right. So that's what they would do to you. They're like, yeah, yeah, you can vote for no, this, but yeah. like a million. Well, yeah. The other day, I, I the came out of the grocery store <laughs> and there was a, a bunch of like old men out there and like they're bombarding everybody walking by. One guy comes like, hey, 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 son. <laughs> I was like, yes. Oh, my God. Hey, son. I was like, yes. He's like, so we're voting for, we're, we're trying to do a petition. This lady's, you know, she wants to go to war. And he, and I was like, I'm sorry. Like, uh, and then he gave me that look like, uh, Democrat. And I'm like, in my head, I was like, he's probably looking at me like yeah. that. But I'm like, listen, I'm sorry, but I am not signing any petition until I do my homework. Yeah, no, I don't yeah. know who I'm signing against, and then he was like, "Well, it's against war," and I'm like, "I get it, but I need to do my homework." Yeah, yeah. Like, I yeah. can't, I'm not putting my name on a piece of paper. Twenty years down mm. the line, Calvin already petitioned for war. Right. <laughs> it's like, but, oh but, shit! But also, based on a thirty second elder, this guy's gonna give you exactly. You know? He could be the most like so, you know charismatic guy. But it's, it's what Marcus yeah. was yeah. saying. Yeah. You, know, and, you never know what. Is on the other. That's, side that's of how, I, but that's paper. what they do. Like, I, I guess I got caught with the whole save the children because I remember I was on. Work, I was at. I was. He was feeding a kid in Ecuador. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Still <laughs> him. Um, <laughs> the the crazy part is like I remember it was like I'm, I'm on lunch. I forgot what job I was. It was on order. Yeah, I was on lunch in the iron district, the flat iron district. Mm -hmm. So I'm just walking around, just I'm eating like my watermelon. It's hot day. I'm just drinking water, and I'm fucking tired. Like I'm, yeah. I'm just beat. Yeah. And this girl, I guess, caught me at the right fucking time. And she stops me. And she was kind of cute. So I'll give her some time. Yeah. And, and then she's like, oh, you want to help out for, it's mostly for girls. Like, it's like girls like in Mexico, things like that, that they need, you know, for Save the Children. And I, and at first I was like, ah, oh, I don't, I don't like what, you don't want to help out little girls? And I was like, what? Don't say like that. <laughs> <laughs> like, and, and I was like, what do you mean? Like, you just don't want to help out little girls. Like, they need help too. Yeah. <laughs> and I wanted to, where the boys are. I'll, 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 sign, boy. I'll give you the money for the boys. But like, she guilted me in. Because yeah. in my mind, I don't, I, like, if I say no, I'm just like, in my head, I'm thinking, I want to reaffirm what she already 
things about me. So is that when you signed up for Pete the Kids? Yeah. So it was how did that go to Ecuador? No, it wasn't. But he just no, no. I said I went to American Kid. I, I chose American. He just says it's Ecuador. Oh, okay. It's it was Ameri- it's, it's quite sure. I'm I'm quite sure it's one of the kids like in um. I think how she explained it. You can see the kind of girls in, where you find them, but mm-hmm. most of the time they're not mostly inner city. That they seem to be like a lot of like um places like in Mississippi, Alabama, mm-hmm. places like that, like really rural southern yeah. states. That's what they were aiming for, I guess. But I'm like, dude. But at the end of the day. That's how they get you. They yeah. guilt you in because mm-hmm. they're just trying to make you say, oh, you don't care about... No, maybe I do, but right now I don't have the time for this. Right. Right? But then again, you don't want to be a horrible person, maybe for some people. Because you can see it. She's trying to sign people on, and I remember seeing her her sheet. There wasn't a lot of names. Yeah. Because a lot of people would just walk by. Walking by. And it's yeah. also a big tourist spot, so a lot of people yeah. either don't speak English or yeah. a lot of people are Or they pretend to speak English. I should have like, I wish like, oh, uh, my English is missing you good. Right, yeah. right, right, right. I should have just been like, no, it's just some bullshit. But yeah. that's how they get you. They tug on your heart strings. They, they should float around like Park Avenue or like... They won't. Wait, what are you talking about? Why would they? What are you talking about? Petitioners. Or like people doing non-profits. So, so, they, get, so they get spat in the face? No one's going to do it. They're not going to do anything. Those people are mm-hmm. bullshitters. They're the biggest bullshitters. Like, you know what I find hilarious? Is that every time you get one of these, like, not seeing all of them are white, but they say, like, the white suburban woman or the ones who got all this money, they at least seem to be the ones who be the most liberal. Yeah, right. And they're the ones like, oh, black right. Americans need our help. They So what you go down there? Oh, I ain't, I ain't going out there. We talked about but, this last podcast. Yeah, they, no, it's so no, infuriating. No, yeah, they, they, they got a video. I saw this video. This lady fucking let them. Hmm. It was this black woman, Nigerian. She went up to these these people and she was like, "We're not oppressed. Mm-hmm. We are not oppressed. Just because you're saying it, that doesn't mean we are oppressed." And then, like, she went through this whole spiel about like Black Lives Matter. She was like, "You guys only yell Black Lives Matter when it's a white person or a cop yep. killing a black person, but you don't yell Black Lives Matter when it's black." Killing black. Mm-hmm. She was like, mm-hmm. "That's where BLM should stand for. It's for black not to kill black or anybody." Mm-hmm. Right. In that concerning factor. Right. But like, like, like you guys are saying, it's yeah. like it's one of those things where people think that they're doing good, but it's like you should just. But really that's, that the comes from book. identity. Yeah. But that's identity politics. They rather say that Will, you're 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 the problem I'm for not. me. That's what they would say. Like, oh, mm-hmm. Will is the reason why black and brown people are having a time. That's the biggest problem. Yeah. But how? Like, think, think about this, for example. If you went to war, right? Now, here in America, we're going to be like, you, you they're still separated as black and white. You're a black guy, I'm a white guy, you know, whatever. You guys should hate each other. Or he's an oppressor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you go over there overseas and you're fighting some fucking other guy in another country, mm-hmm. and he sees a black guy, he sees a white guy, he don't see a black guy and a white guy. Right. He's right. just American. Right. He's just a dude wearing the same uniform. Yeah. You're on that side. He got the same flag on your fucking left shoulder. Yeah. No, you're the bad guy. Right. There's no fucking race there. Only you in America we do this dumb shit. Like, yeah. oh, you black and white. Well, huh? Well, no, I think a lot of countries. They probably do, but there's a lot of it is a nationality thing. So, like, in Europe, it's more like you're a Frenchie. Like, it's literally a French guy fighting against an English guy. Not, they, they're both white. But it's well, only no, it's I mean, a nationality. It's, every every right. country no. has racism to an umph degree, but I think uh, with America, with the freedom of speech, we're more vocal about it. But then a lot of these countries where racism is involved, whoever the minority is, mm-hmm. tend to be a lot more quiet because they are the minority. Mm-hmm. You know, they're not the majority. So, like, if you go to China, like, you know, like China is very, like, Racist, but they're culturally homogenous. Yes, mm. correct. But correct. it's the same thing if you went to um, I think it's Norway or Sweden, one of the two. I think it's Norway. The regions are very culturally homogenous too. Right. White Americans go there; they will treat you like shit. You can be blonde hair, blue eyes, six feet tall, a, a fucking six pack, and an eight inch dick. They don't give a fuck. You are not Norwegian. Right. You're American. Right. You're fucking up the system. Yeah. Get out. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> The same thing if a Korean went to China. I'm sure right now they'd be like, "Hey, hey, hey you're a fucking Korean. Yeah, you're not our culture. You, that's yeah. the, and, and only here in America we got this whole melting pot thing. The only it's culture, you know, that's the only culture is that you which, have a separate which, which everybody yeah. should shut the fuck up. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's a melting pot. 
And like, like yeah, and we're, we're we're doing our best. Anybody here. can come to this country any day, and you would never know, mm-hmm. unless they have a thick accent. Yeah, we don't know English. My mom. But like, still, though, there's people who have thick accents that have been American yeah. for like fucking thirty, forty years. You like everybody. Yeah. You like everybody. My mom's a uh, a college counselor, so she like helps. She does. She now she does it like privately, like her own. Mm-hmm. Um, so she helps kids get into college, and uh, one kid uh, was from uh, South Korea. And she was just like, yeah, everyone keeps calling me like Chinese, Japanese, and it's so fucking offensive because I'm South Korean. Like, it's, it's terrible. But like, what? What? Okay. I was what on a doing? roll. You keep talking. Okay. Look at that. Is that what? a five pay time? What is that? What? Oh, okay. Anyway. It um, wasn't my... Anyway, but no, she was like, yeah, we're not used to that. I know, you know, we don't do that here. Yeah, Fuck yeah. off. <laughs> but like, no, she's. That's our producer. It's our producer here. But, uh, He's RPA. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. No, no, but she's like, so in, in her community, that, like, I, I guess she lived in the neighborhood where it was predominantly like South Korean. It's all in Virginia, by the way. Mm-hmm. Uh, South Korean, Japanese, Chinese, because they're all just like kind of bond- Virginia kind of bundled all these Asian people together. And there's just so many turf wars there. And then she's just go piss off because, like, whenever she comes to, to high school at that time, this is also like 10 years ago. You go, what are you like, Japanese? And it's like, there's a clear cut. Just, like, if, if you're Asian, you know who is Chinese, Japanese, South Korean, North Korean, Vietnamese. Wow. Like, they can tell. Um, and then the other thing, too, my buddy, he was an Army Ranger. This is going back to, like, you know, when you're fighting people. You know. Welcome to America. Welcome to America. That's what I want to say. Welcome to America. Welcome to America. Oh, uh, do you think I'm Chinese, Japanese? What? <laughs> Welcome to America. No, I mean, yeah. It's, we, we, I mean, yeah, but. I think. But, like, yeah, it's fine. Whatever. The softness. I'm sorry. No, it's fine. But I it's mean, not like, it's not like, you know what I mean? Like, I always wonder, you think if you go to Japan, they're going to guess where you're from too? No! 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 Take and be happy that we're we're even a yeah, it was this, right, right? I saw this story about this guy. I think he the he's a black dude from here in America. His girlfriend or his wife now, she's from um um Thailand. And so he married her and he moved to Thailand and they went to this one of these beauty shops so the wife could buy her thing for her hair and stuff, and some lady comes over to him with some bleach cream and she's barely to speak English, but she's basically telling him, Don't you want to be a little lighter? Like mm-hmm. she's trying to rub the blackness out of his skin. <laughs> Which you can. There is bleach. They, they got those bleach. Like, it, it, like, it's it's so so. terrible for in the skin. West Indies. Of course. In, 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 in yeah, Jamaica. It's, in the West Indies, Jamaica, it's a big thing. They call it bleaching. Mm. So, bleach my ass. Also. But no, it's a yeah. lot yeah. of different... It's, a it's shut the fuck up. <laughs> You're white already and you got to bleach your asshole. Yeah. It's dark right here. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> You're, also, God. You're also the most Hispanic I've ever seen you because you said... Much, you're Tanner. so much Tanner. Yeah. That's yeah, racist. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> can't check, can't check. Yeah, it's, it's uh, I'm surprised check. he has any fucking facial hair. I don't no, know that but, came from. But no, but in in so many <laughs> different culture, the 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 shade of your skin means a lot. Mm. In Mexico, they are white Mexicans. Mm. Canelo Alvarez, which they mm. look down on a brown Mexican. Like, ugh, you're brown. <laughs> it's like in, but no, in, that's not fair. That's the original. No, but no. Here's the thing. That's right? the OG Mexican. In, in, they do it in India as well. Wow. India, you're light skinned. You look down on the brown ones. Like ugh, it's brown. Will's fault. It's your fault, it's, Will. No, but it's 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 a thing. <laughs> it's a thing. Like, the colorism like, is legit. Yeah. White, 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 white. Well, so so <laughs> that so my buddy who he was an army ranger for like four years. I'm not saying longer, but he did a tour for four years. He was just saying how easy it is to combat Middle Eastern people. Because it's not like World War II where we're fighting like European, European, like white people. Mm-hmm. It's, or, or, but like when you're, and just like we were saying, it's like, it doesn't matter if a Middle Eastern person is shooting at an army uh, ranger or whatever. Mm-hmm. 
um, you know, if they're black or white, they're wearing the same uniform. But like for them, it's just like, oh, they're wearing, you know, rags or whatever. Shoe. Have, yeah, well, so shoe. it's the uniform. Basically uniform, but also it's yeah. just easier to shoot a new illusion person for them. Brown people. Brown people. Because it's just like, yeah, it, it got racial, for sure. What if I was in the army? But I was like an informant. Was you like, can't because you're flat-footed. No, but I'm just saying. <laughs> what if I had arches? <laughs> what if I had arches? And what if I was in the army? <laughs> like, I would just, it? they would have shot me already. Like, that, that's a scary job to be like a CIA operator. That's what I'm saying. Fly. Yeah. That would do some shit. It's not 007, man. No, it's not. I mean, apparently, so apparently if you want to work for the CIA um, within the last, like, I don't know, 30 years, you have to know Arabic really well. You have to go to school for Arabic, you have to learn it, because that's the language you no. can do espionage on. Can you imagine if you, like, you, <laughs> you work for the CIA and you get into, like, you got to, you know, uncover this, you know, child sex trafficking that turns out to be, like, some gay porno thing and you have to be one of the... <laughs> <laughs> And then, and then you get busted by other people. You're like, I've been working this case for 20 years. Here's my badge. You're a fucking lawyer. 20 years. He's yelling at you with a lawyer in his face. Like, you know how I've been doing this? Just kind of dripping off his face. Yeah, he's like, with a boner. Yeah. With a boner. Yeah. And, and still have an argument with the boner. Like, he takes off his like fake mustache and nose. Like, no, no, he doesn't go flashing at all. Yeah. Just, that's a great sketch. You write that. I, honestly, my only his father, is like ten inches. And as like, he's yelling at everyone, they're not even looking him in the eye; they're just looking down at his boner. Like the scene's been over like for ten minutes, twenty minutes, bro. Like, what's going on? Man, he's like, detective, you've been on this case for twenty years. You have nineteen years of evidence to close this case. You just kept going. <laughs> he's like, I'm not there yet. I'm not there yet. I don't have any idea. <laughs> There's something missing. Something keeps calling me back. There's something missing. Something kissed me on the job. <laughs> Do you know how hard it is to be a fluffer? Oh my gosh. That would be terrible. They love him because they don't need a fluffer for him. <laughs> it's, it's it's, a, we save money. Yeah, it's, not, it's not even a position on the, on the job. It's like, they don't have to. They don't need a fluffer. <laughs> 20 goddamn years. I haven't seen my wife. Well, she divorced me yeah. 18 years ago, but I haven't seen my wife in 20 years. The off wow. camera Oh my things. god. Wow. You can't bring people. This is a good show. Was it? This is a really good studio show. If I'm go, it would be better. You know, with the studio <laughs> stuff, we get a little bit more political. And we get a little uh, you, you two history buffs go at it. <laughs> well, we're it. driving. We just let the atmosphere take us. Yeah. No, you know what? If you want to talk about so. something, I just saw it recently. So Saquon Barkley. Oh yeah. Jordan, now he's your boy. Now he goes, wild. He is he is getting roasted online. Why? Because By Giants, he, fans? Giants fans. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because he. All right. So fine. You went to the Eagles. We mm-hmm. get it, right? Mm-hmm. You only been with the team for a month, maybe two months. And he's going to Philadelphia games, rooting on the fucking 76ers. And they're like, dude, really? Like, you he's just. A, but he was from Penn State. No, here's here. Oh, was Sa- he from Sa- Penn State? I'm not Sa- sure. Qu- no, Maybe. Saquon. He, no, Bar- he went to Penn State. Saquon Barkley. Jesus fuck Christ, I'm going to answer the question. <laughs> Saquon Barkley was born in the Bronx. So he's a New Yorker. Oh, At fuck. At the age of four, he moved to Allentown, Pennsylvania. Huh. And then from Allentown, Pennsylvania, moved to Milktown. I forgot what Lang, what the hell, Pennsylvania. Went to college. Went to elementary, middle, high school in Philly, in Pennsylvania, not Philly, in Pennsylvania. Went to Penn and played there. So I think as like as a human being for who he is, born in New York, mm-hmm. raised in Philly. To play for New York and then go play in Philly is, I mean, that's uh, yeah. the mind frame of him. It's like I get to play from where I was born, right. a team where right. I was born mm-hmm. in, and a team where I was raised in. Yeah. And the other thing too, which he went off on the fans because the fans are like, "Oh, this is." Oh, she did see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's like, "Hey, the Giants never offered me yep. anything." Yeah. 
if they would offer me something, then maybe it would have been a conversation. But if not, and then the Eagles offered me, and also something. not a playoff team. But then, but then it's like, yeah. like it's, I mean, I ooh, think, I think, Giants. You, I think, I think you got to look at it realistically. Being Saquon, you got to look at the same way of how they treated the last great superstar that we had, Odell Beckham. Mm-hmm. Like who Odell is Beckham, now a Dolphin, and who's now a Dolphin? Now, really? really? Yeah. yeah. Sound with Dolphin, eight million dollars for you. I did not. And, they, and after Odell got hurt, they didn't. We didn't. We didn't ask for him back. We didn't wait for him. Mm-hmm. And he goes off to L.A. and wins a championship. We didn't wait for the guy. The we couldn't wait for him, but he's like, "Fuck it, no." And that's the what they do in the Saquon. They died, don't. We just died. don't. You know, we use you ever and abuse say, you. Uh, the that's Giants it. ever say uh, faithful to was Eli? Yeah, that's what we saw. But that's right only. I love Eli, but that's only because Eli stayed healthy. If Eli would have been out for anything other than that one issue he had with turf toe, he played with the turf toe. He did not stay out for turf toe. Yeah, but if he would have got out, out, like for real, oh, same yeah, thing. New York has always yeah. done that. Because right? we did it to him at the end. He, he, he would have played, he would have broke the record for like the most games, consecutive games played. Eli. They saw him now yeah, for Geno Smith. That was bad. That what, was what, bad. Wait, wait, go back. What? So go Eli would have broke. I think it would have been the Giants' record. Or, 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 or he would have set a record for the most consecutive football games played. Because yeah. he's like technically the Iron Man. That's how we, you yeah. know, consider him. They he's sat him down. Well, he, yeah, he he also I, sat I, some I, games I, out. But they sat him out for Geno Smith because he wasn't playing too well. And Geno Smith most definitely didn't play well. Wait, I remember Gino, he was, Gino I like Gino was on the Jets. Yeah, he went to the Jets and then he went to the, the Giants. Giants and now he's with the Seahawks. Seahawks. Yeah. I love you. Know. He's oh, good on the name. Seahawks, but no, I think like uh, I didn't write back the whole thing. Mm-hmm. What's wrong? Uh, he's like they wrote me off. But I didn't write back after they won against uh, some good team, but it, to go into the playoffs, it's like two years, maybe three years. And that's ago. why you like the guy because he said a statement. No, he's tough. He did beat I the like Eagles, him. though. Yeah, huh? he did beat those Eagles. I mean, he's an underdog. I like him. I like an underdog. Okay, <laughs> that was great. Okay. What do you want me to say? What do you want me to say? Also, I didn't realize that Devontae Smith was a uh, Heisman. Winner. Yes, he mm-hmm. was. I did not realize. I just found that out like a week ago. They gave their Heisman trophy back to uh, this guy. Uh, mm. What's his name again? Yeah. Shit, I forget Jeez. his name. Reggie Bush. Reggie Bush. Reggie Bush. Because they fucked him over. But Because yeah. now players are getting money. Yeah. You have to do it. It's fucking Reggie Bush, man. Like, give it to him. It's like people that got arrested... For for marijuana, uh, marijuana. Right. Uh, and the like, charges, yeah, yeah. 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 Let them out. Life Let in out. prison. They're like, yeah. yeah. Don't fuck a three strike rule. Let them out. Yeah. It's like imagine a person that was like pushing pounds, kilos of marijuana mm-hmm. in the nineties and got arrested for years. Should they now give you money? Mm. Should they now pay you? Oh, for the money you lost. Mm-hmm. The money, um, the experience. They the should give you, out. they should maybe give you like a, like a, a dividend or something. Like there is $250,000. You know what I hate about this? You know what I hate about what, what this country does as well? Mm-hmm. Is give prisoners rights. Why? Why should they have rights? Because you are, you are violate every fucking law. Part. You have fucking, and what is it? The United Nations will get on us. Geneva, all these. Do they people. get on the other countries? The other countries don't give a fuck. Because other countries are different. The other countries give a fuck. You know why? These countries, a lot of people don't even want to go to prison because they know what they're gonna walk into. So that way, they're like, I'm not doing that. The crime rates are low, and crime rates are lower. Well, I think it depends because, like, I was watching something on this. Like, if you go to like Norway, they have the most like. In terms of prisons, like the, the yeah, term, the success yeah, rate and turn around rate, how, how, and return rates is very low. Yeah, but, and they treat these guys like they give the them jobs, they, they, the they trade. People there, though. No, I think the reason why it works for them is because, like I said, they look they the culture homogenous. It works. Yeah, look at yes, correct. here is homogenous you know, population. The 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 economy. Look at all that compared to that aspect of that stuff, compared to what we're doing. Ten more. Hmm? No. no. Me? This cocksucker. Yeah, I don't know. They're doing this to me. Mm-hmm. I gave mm-hmm. blood life. Yeah, one minute. 
Oh no, yeah, we're on a roll right now. We're, yeah, we're, we don't do what you're doing. Yeah, fuck out of here. No, no, I, 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 I told him. I told him. She told me give me rules. No, I told you give me the heads up. That doesn't mean we cut. We done. Oh, that, that, it's quiet. This is no, quiet please. single. No, if anybody no. else can see this, this is quiet single. This is quiet signals. Like, I, I saw it. Quiet signals. I you guys are not supposed shut to shut up. Over the goddamn. <laughs> Your voice should be the lowest out of everybody. You know what? Yeah. <laughs> Marty we'll Stein, can I do the, uh, uh, mm-hmm. can I get yeah, one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know, but you have to get the prisoners' rights, unfortunately. What so, are the rights that we're talking about? Well, legally, yeah. I well, I mean, the right, the right to have food, the right to have exercise, the right to medical attention. That's mm-hmm. it. Well, that's what they have. Exactly. So they should have it. A right, no, they should have. Th- those are the three rights you should have: <clears throat> to have medical attention, to have food, and to have physical activity. Over here. To mm-hmm. keep yourself healthy. But there are rights where it's like we shouldn't have them do labor. We shouldn't have like you know like it's, it's certain stupid shit. Like I think I, they should. I, just, I think they should know what they should do. They should put like hamster wheels. In all the prisons. Connected so, through electricity. So, so, and, so, 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 oh. so the power of the county, they got to do it like once a week. I would, I would run 20 miles a day. That is prison. where that, all of a sudden, why are all the runners getting <laughs> rest? You tell me I get to train every day for free? Or better, or better yet, running. Or yeah. better yet, you should just make them watch like useless ads all day and just always do surveys. <laughs> just clicking surveys. Are you a good runner? Can you, you, can you run, do you run? electricity? <laughs> gotcha. No, I would I, love that I, job. I'll do that job. Prison should be hard <laughs> labor. Should be. Prison should be hard labor. What well, is he? Trash pickups on on the sides of, of, of highways. Hard labor. Th- those guys that you see on the side of highways, you know, garbage, are the ones that are already out of the system. Right. So there's like prisons like Long Island like, City. Like a Queen's House detention. Correct. Yeah. So within your last couple months of prison, you get removed, mm-hmm. placed into another facility where now they're a little bit more lenient mm. and you get a little bit more like <clears throat> your own good behavior because you're like, ah, six months, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, like it, fist bumping everybody. Hey, how you doing? Good morning. Good evening. Good afternoon. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm going to sleep tonight. Yeah. Good night, everybody. Mm-hmm. Like that. Those are those guys. Oh, we gonna go pick up garbage. I'm gonna be the best garbage. <laughs> the if I was a, a prison guard and I was a prison guard for a female prison, I would make an OnlyFans page for prison guards. <laughs> I'll be going there taking pictures, having them pose, put them on the site. No, you're no. saying it. You're saying it. He's not giving you the look where it's like, that's wrong. He's giving you the look like, why yeah. have somebody done this yet? You got me, I'll be fucking genius. <laughs> no, no, no. Ni- neither of that was correct. That was the most appalling thing that I've was... ever heard in my life. And I just said, they get money. Shit. They get money out of it, right? I'll make sure but they get you money. Fire them immediately, you never get a job ever. They won't know. Yo, yes, they, they won't will. know. Uh huh. Well, You're yeah. literally distributing it across the interwebs. People are going to find out. They don't know what prison is coming from. They don't know who's putting it up there. Hackers will find out. The hackers from, won't from rat. Up. The hackers uh, won't rat. The hackers will be down there, you know, getting discounts with me. They'll be watching. They'll be subscribing. That's terrible. Unless, <laughs> are you kidding? Unless it's a woman hacker. Can you imagine Suzy from Cell Block B just sitting <laughs> Jennifer, so cell block four. If only no one can see him, but the motions and the notions that he's making. <laughs> Me, lifetime Susie. Uh, She's there for life, just surfing. I don't even know if that's going to work long time. It's a great idea. I think How think is it's that going to work long time? You're going to be. Of course, it'll catch, of course it'll catch me, but I just think it'll be funny as fuck. <laughs> I just think it'll be one of those things. And it's all about female empowerment. What do they mean? Like, they get some money. I would do that to them. <laughs> I would give them something. They get, get, get I, rations. There's always a pain in the back, right? They'll, 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 they'll get the rations. Oh, I mean, would you take God. the money and put, like, I don't know, 60% into, like, women advocating whatever? No. I bet the dark web has that already, though. 
What? There's some weird shit you can find on the dark web. Of course. Sorry, King. Yeah. No, no, it's like this. <clears throat> but what do you mean like women advocate? Like advocate for whatever what? women advocate for. See, I, 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 I'm out of that now. I'm out of that conversation. Because you know why I'm out of that conversation? Because you see, there's certain cases where some women, like the, for, particularly for sports, where they, like, just recently, this, I think they're high school girls, they refused to actually play the game because they let this trans boy or trans girl. Oh, that was in New Jersey. We spoke about that one. No, but this one's, I don't know, but I think it was down south someplace. But it was like, um, what's that thing is where they put the ball in their neck? Stop, and stop it. Yeah, good. So I think that's the game they were playing, and they all refused to play because they allowed this boy to play with them. <laughs> that's fucked. They I mean, protest. <laughs> they protest yeah. but, then, but then you have these same people who will say, oh, uh, a woman is, you know, what? how you feel. When actually the definition of woman is adult well, woman female. But these are the same people who would tell you that a woman is how you feel, but then they get angry when you talk about abortion rights. Mm-hmm. Like, you, you can't have it both ways. You, either, you know what a fucking woman is, mm-hmm. and we're going to stick to that. Mm-hmm. So that's why I don't do the advocation shit, because like, I look for the ones who are actually doing something. Like the girls who are actually out there fighting, like Riley Gaines or these girls who's like, women's sports need to be protected, those are the ones I protect. But when you get to like the lefties that say, yeah. abortion rights and blah, blah, blah. But then you say that any man can be a fucking woman, then you don't know what a woman is. Right. I'm sorry. I don't, well, also, I don't like the age. No, but speaking of that, this is really funny that you mentioned that. So uh, there's this guy from uh, in D3 running. Mm-hmm. Um, there's this guy who identifies as a, as a female. And he run, but but because D three is not as like highlighted focus mm-hmm. as D one, but so D three can kind of get away with whatever. So <laughs> this guy he identifies as a female, and he just ran the D three record in the five k, which is like thirteen fifty, which is freaking fast. That's like D one level. Sheesh. But the they can't put it on as the male record because he identifies as female. So this guy has like the fastest time in D three five k, but he's a female. That's the so funny, I, I think it's hilarious. There's, there's. I think one, it's so fucking funny. It's a swimmer. Oh, D- Dylan first. You know, I don't know. Leah Thomas. It, it's a transgender swimmer. Yeah, Leah Thomas. So yeah, came in, broke the record. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm a woman. Mm-hmm. I'm great. Mm-hmm. With a bulge, and then and the fucking and then, Michael Phelps wingspan. Like, get the hell out of here. Uh, her bul- oh. And then what happened? We have bulges. Is, another transgender came in, <laughs> swam against her. Mm. Oh, there must be a different story then. Yes, yeah. I think it's a different story. I swam against her in a race and beat her. No way! By seconds. Nice. And she flipped out. Saying something's wrong with her. <laughs> so wrong with you. <laughs> do you see? Oh, do you see the? the yeah, I feel the, so bad for these like <laughs> female athletes. Do you see the trans, <laughs> fucking hard house, and they got these two assholes. Do you see the so trans? Like, yeah. Do you see the trans man, the boxer, fight their first one, their first professional boxing match against too. a man, and got knocked out <laughs> in seconds? Really? Yeah, it was basically the headline should just be man oh, knocks out woman. No, okay. no, that's a woman. It's just me, man knocks out woman. That's exactly right. Like, uh, yeah. You can't escape that biology. I'm yeah. sorry. We, especially when we talk about the fight game. That's just a different. Dude, it's just like, it's, it's fucking insane. Like, okay, granted. Patricio say, Manuel. Yeah. With the bald head, tattoos, beard. Nickname Kakahute. You got that little neck beard going on? Uh, shaved oh, head? I gotta see. I mean, it's one thing, like, I don't fucking care if, like, a female transitioning to a male and like competes with like other males and like does well that's badass go for mm-hmm. it whatever i don't care but like it's such a fucking cop out no you're, you're being biased right now you're being very biased right now no i mean it's like hey be with the best of the best if you can yeah like athletically i mean i'm there are also plenty of female like tennis players golfers uh soccer players who are going to be so much better than i am but if i'm disciplined at a task or disciplined in a sport and I'm just honing my skills in that. And then I'm just like, oh, I'm the 200th best person in my male sport. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go to female. And now you'll be like number one. Number one. It's such a coward move. Mm-hmm. Don't do that. 
some of these guys, people, I, I, I had this argument one time with this one lady, and she was all, good at where you are. Like, she she was all for are. like Leah Thomas. She said the whole Leah yeah. Thomas thing. She was all for Leah Thomas competing because that's who they identify as, right? right. And sometimes it's so apparent how these people never play sports in their lives. Right. You can just tell because all about them is all about what you feel. Mm-hmm. Is uh, how I feel inside. First of all, I heard some lady say this once. She says sports is not about identities it's bodies okay mm-hmm. that's what is bodies exactly. competing against bodies exactly. and on top not only that but when you're talking about the whole thing about men and women with specifically sports and they're like oh well he did you never seen how these athletes what they do to win they take drugs yeah. they destroy their bodies because yeah. they want to be the best they who's, who's not to say that this leah thomas is just tired of fucking losing in his category once that success mm-hmm. besides i'm trans just to get the fucking success, because you yeah. will do anything you can to be successful at something. Yeah, like that's how I look at. It. Like, if you want to take steroids and pump yourself full of hormones and do doping, who knows? Mm-hmm. This is just another level of extreme that some of these athletes are willing to do when they're not achieving their goals. Right. Because I guarantee you, ten thousand on the road, ten years on the road, Leah Thomas is going to be wearing a suit and tie, going to his real name. You know, working a day job at some fucking law firm. Right. Who knows? I don't know. Yeah, but he won't be Leah Thomas. Right. It, it no, it, 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 it that shit pisses me off so yeah. much because like you have these like poor girls who, you know, have been swimming or running or playing tennis for years and years and years, and then you have this guy come in and be like, "I'm female and I'm transitioning, and I'm still gonna kick your ass." <laughs> Fuck off. And it, I mean, yeah. you know, and the, of course the counter argument is like, "Well, this just allows like females to like, be better at their craft." It's like. They're There's just gone. some sports out there, a lot of sports out there that are just not. It's not going to happen. No. Like, I'm sorry. It's just not going to Especially with that. I mean, it's a difference you're talking to just the average guy. Like, we're not beating the best female runner. Just don't think, like a sprinter. You know, you may not do that. Well, but if you're a professional athlete on the male, you might more likely you, not you beat It's her. actually a great race. And it's actually a very terrible example. Again, I'm coming in today hot with terrible mm-hmm. examples. But the marathon is a great equalizer. Yeah. Male and female. 26 miles. Because it's a long distance. Long distance. It's a long distance. Exactly. Like, my dad, when he was 19 years old, he ran 227. Mm-hmm. And uh, got sponsored by, like, some shoe company that I think went bankrupt, like, 60 years ago. 50 mm-hmm. years ago. Anyway. How old is your father? 65. Before, uh, it was an exaggeration. It, it was it's called Tiger. Mm-hmm. It was a shoe company. So he got sponsored by them when he was like nineteen. You fought at sixty five. Mm-hmm. Really? Mm-hmm. So I was. Wait, mm-hmm. you fought at sixty five? So he had you when he was like in his forties. Did you no. talk- <clears throat> twenty nine? So he had me when I was. Like, let's just say I'm thirty. Mm-hmm. Let's just say. So he had you like when he was in his thirties. So what's sixty four minus? God damn! What's what is wrong minus? with you? What, what's going on? I have to fart really bad. <laughs> and you're holding it. That's no, the no, reverse yeah. fart. Yeah, that's the internal fart. Yeah. Wait, you follow sixty five minus thirty. So that's thirty five. Yeah, I mean, when I was thirty five. Hmm. Wait. Okay. I get. It. I, I get it. And my, and my sister. My, 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 yeah. your, your father, my father, the same age. Really. Is was same age, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Interesting. That's crass, crazy. I thought you were possibly like in his fifties for some my reason. My father passed when he was sixty-three. That was two years ago. Wow. Yeah. That was long. Anyway, mm-hmm. yeah, you're right. I'm so yeah. sorry. Yeah. Huh. Here's what it is. But yeah, so he ran two twenty-seven. Hmm. The world record for for women's marathons like two twelve. Like, he ran a what? My dad ran a two twenty seven marathon. So he nice. wasn't good enough to beat a woman. Yeah. So I'm just saying, marathon's a great The <laughs> <laughs> great oh, Gene sees this episode. The great Gene Bruner. That's his pops. The goat. Yo, did you see um the there was like this little uh another thing on TikTok. They were talking about athletes, black athletes. Are you on TikTok? I see it on YouTube. I don't know. You get on TikTok. It's so great. Even I though can't. they're going to cancel it in the next couple months. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Yeah, that's coming. Yeah. Yo, D-Trump. 
Uh, Donald Trump wants to gain presidency, mm -hmm. and he wants to gain a whole new collective of people to make him president. All he needs to say is, when I become president, right. yeah. TikTok, we are not getting rid of TikTok. Mm -hmm. Freedom of speech, America, USA. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would be... Any and every yeah. body Mo that is the millennial, age of Gen Z, like, oh under the I love Donald Trump because all these influencers make their bank on TikTok. Yeah, so exactly. they don't want to be like, well, it's everything I stand against <coughs> for, but I need my money. Or capitalism again. There you go. It's or it's just they hate him so much if he says that about TikTok, like, oh, maybe I don't need TikTok to make money. <laughs> oh yeah, they may they may yeah. do that. Go, they may do that. Shit. We need our plumbers, we need our electricians, we need our construction workers. No, but what I was going to say about TikTok, I saw this video about this athlete. Uh, well, he saw other athletes who are black athletes. Why they always end up dating white women when they get the bad? You know, I had that video and I was going to watch it and I didn't watch it. Please tell me what he say. So, well, if you watch the video, it's actually better because he gives you all the points. But basically, what he comes down to is that he's saying that black women, they always want something from you when they know you're going to get the bag. Like, oh, he's like, she's like, why are you taking me to Chipotle? Why don't you take me to a steakhouse? And you, you know you can afford it. Or why don't you do my hair and my nails? That kind of thing. But the white girls, they usually buy things for them. They'll buy you the Starbucks. Oh, yeah. Or they'll, they'll say, you don't have to buy me anything. Like, you know, we just just being with you, getting ice cream is fine. Because mm -hmm. then you get the house, the car. Mm -hmm. well, so, well, somebody, I saw two points on this. I, I This is my personal belief. Because I don't think it's a race thing. I think it's how you were brought up, like a cultural thing. Right. And I think where if you had a person who comes from, uh, not money, but a, a family who understands how to manage money, right. those white girls might come from families who understand right. managing money. And that they look at you as more an investment. So by you not buying something, you're saving something for something larger right, in the future. Right. Like, you know, I want to show you that I could be a good woman. And if you buy a house, I'm taking care of you. Mm -hmm. That kind of thing. Yeah. Whereas a black girl's like, I don't have it. I need it now because I never had it when I was poor. That mm -hmm. kind of bullshit. But another person <laughs> said. Long term, it's just not Yeah. And another person <laughs> said, is also. <laughs> Anyone want to call JG? Word, word. No. And then, uh, this other one, she, she had a good point. She said, it also could be how they were brought up because of their family. What were the examples? Mm -hmm. So, like, if you had a parents who were together, they were loving, they looked out for one another. Mm -hmm. like, they, it, it's not always about money. It's mm -hmm. always about, like, what I could do for you long term. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's the reason why a lot of these white girls are doing that because they come from families where it's more about just being with that person mm -hmm. and building, like I said, about investing. Right. Like, a lot of black folk, we just like, yo, we, gotta, we get that money, we, we spend that money now. No, why don't we just divest some of this money somewhere else, yeah, you know? Yeah, Instead yeah. of fucking hair and nails and, and Gucci. Yeah. You know? But, you and BBLs. Know, but, you know, you, I, th I think the problem, like... Love the BBL. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know. And also, I think, a lot of these black athletes, why they end up, especially when they got signed, why they end up with a lot of white women is because your social circles change. Think about it. Right. The majority, of a lot of the wealth is yeah, exactly. Or... There's more people with who are who own. I'm uh, sorry, most of the wealth are white people. Mm -hmm. So if you go are going to parties where a lot of rich people, you're more likely going to run into a lot of white girls mm -hmm. and maybe even Asian girls, right? Rather than a lot of black folks, we don't have all that wealth. But also, it... or or you're running into things that you've never seen or been. With. Yeah, you're going to different so circles. It's always yeah. the the like, well, I've never. What I would like, and then you have it, and mm. it's like, and they know the deal. Yeah. You don't know the deal, because you're like, oh, this is <laughs> this is kind of great, mm -mm. but they're playing the game. I don't know. What? But yeah, it's, it's like here, here's what we do at the end of every episode. We say the quote of the day when we're on studio. So the quote of the day. Goes I'm, like I'm not good enough for the drive cast. No, you suck. You call it out. <laughs> There's always something offensive, and that's when it gets you know. something offensive or something that has the clue in it already. I think I'm amazing. Now. You said a quote that was from Adam Sandler that said his name in the quote. <laughs> I think ah, I'm Adam Sandler. That's <laughs> <laughs> like who said it. I think I'm great. Oh, you ever seen that? You ever heard that? What was like? You ever heard that question? It was like, what was the color of Leakin's white horse? <laughs> <laughs> and everybody says everything but white. Oh, black. Everything black. Everything black. We're black. Brown? Yeah. 
Let's see. Orange? Orange. So the quote goes like this. You guys have to let me know who said this quote. I think the show, by the way. This is cool. oh, Which one? Oh, I like it. Which yeah. one? God. Oh, this show. Oh, this one. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Shut Just up. Fuck you. Jump off. I did piss. <laughs> You're gonna say something racist, like you normally say to me when the camera's just... not rolling. <laughs> you Chinese <laughs> fuck. Like he curses, like he curses, like the typical white guy who wants to take it there. Like if I call him to stop, yeah. Like, 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 like if I call you a white boy or something, something, you'd be like, you are like, just a yeah. You need a grip card. You know, like this, and it starts to shake, and he's like. Oh my god! <laughs> god damn it! <laughs> okay, so the then, then he, wait, hold on, hold on. But then when he's driving home, he's he's he's, he's beating the steering wheel. <laughs> nigger, nigger, nigger! Why did you just go? <laughs> he's blasting melodies. Like, oh! <laughs> no, John Denver in the background. John Denver. <laughs> Marcus is Asian. All right, the quote yes. goes like this. <laughs> How do you say the N word in the uh, Chinese? <laughs> I wouldn't know. <laughs> wait, wait, can you look up? No, I'm not looking up. The quote goes like this: "A day without laughter is a day wasted." Rob Williams. Here we go. Mm-hmm. And I was gonna say the same thing. Yeah. No. What? Were you sure? I could have sworn you said say that. Did he? he stole it. He stole it from Charlie Chaplin. Oh, uh, that's a trick question. Trick question. Boom. I don't All right. Answer. You're a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, everybody. I love you. And for the record, Charlie Chaplin stole that mustache from Hitler. <laughs> Can you end on that?